Oh, did you really? Oh, do you know? Oh, okay. You know I mean? No, like, let's it, go. It, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. Like, it's up. No, no, it's, it's it's on. It's happening. All right. Faxpiration question is. Um, is everyone even oh, here? Oh, man. Are we missing? I feel like we're missing. Wait, there's like three of us here. Hang on, hang on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's only three of us? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, there's five. four of us. There's four of us. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, I, mean, <laughs> well, I don't know if we All want right. to wait. <laughs> oh, he's, he, he's taking the poops. That's all. He's taking the poops. He'll be fine. All right, all right let's keep going. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, what's one secret you've never told your fellow adventurers? Dang, that's kind of a uh, exposing. Yeah. yeah. All right. While you ruminate on that, if anybody would like a third hero uh, point and a third hero card draw, which I learned last Tuesday, are in are are inextricably connected to each other i didn't realize that was a thing um yeah go ahead and roll a d20 in a chat give us that recap of what happened last week yeah did someone take I, it the... felt like a lot and also not a lot i gotta i gotta remind myself what happened i think it was kind of a lot i'm gonna i'm gonna lean towards a lot i mean you guys have it easier than every other group because there is a hard-working journalist who gives you guys notes on every session and we appreciate them yeah, you just you just roll the die and then read Grom's notes. It's, it's not hard. That's fair. I mean, I keep my own yeah. notes, but his are always better. Oh, oh. No, his, his are always better. Uh, mine are like, we fought thing. On Tuesday, <laughs> we, we believe in communism. So we all have one notes document. And I put a couple of words in there so that they think that I uh, I, I, I also contribute to the yeah. notes. Mm -hmm. So both send you, send you to uh, Siberia. I see, I see. I see. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm refreshing myself on the notes. One sec, sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, this is, also... this, is, this is the session in Mycosa 1 in. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, and, gotcha. And you guys pulled that prank on Henry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that funny, that funny, funny little joke we did. Yeah. Alright, going once, going twice. Uh, Jericho. All right. What happened? So I just I just want to highlight the first few words of this note document that our journalist has written up. Um, there's four words. Um, it says, "We are very sad," uh, and I think that is a good, a good encompassing emotion. Uh, we started with that uh, that session. Uh, as all of us are mourning the loss of Henry and trying to see what we could possibly do with these lights, um, Grom is sewing up Henry's body. Jericho is doing some Arcana and occultist checks on these uh, on these lamps. Uh, and we draw the conclusion that the, the Claws of Time is probably using these lamps to possibly see us. We aren't sure really how, but in the end we decide to loot all the lamps, just in case. And because they're worth like 15 gold apiece, and we are poor. So, win-win, honestly, regardless of if the Hound of Time actually, you know, sees through those. Um, as we were kind of chatting, uh, and we start to loot Henry for his belongings, uh, he starts to move, uh, as the skin from Henry begins to peel away, much like a moldy banana, uh, and from his carcass rises a very, uh, muscular, swole skeleton, as Henry is reborn, uh, and he is under the impression that this is just a funny little wild magic surge, and everyone's just pulling a prank on him. Maybe it is a wild magic surge. We don't actually know. It's very possible. If we leave this place, Henry just falls over dead again. That is possible. <laughs> um, so with Henry back alive, we start going systematically around this cradle of quartz, taking off all of the lamps. Fuck these lamps. They're in the bag of holding. This dog needs to die. Uh, while we were going around, we decide to go through the hidden trap door. Um, that is goes into the into the sphere uh and one by one eventually we all make it inside the sphere while the hound uh, attacks us from the outside and we have a conversation with none other than kosawana who has been trapped in here for the past like 
week and a half, two weeks maybe. It took us a while to get here. So he's been here for a while, uh, too afraid to go outside because his dog is going to kill him. And that is a fair fear to have, I think. Anyway, we, four days? It was more than four days, right? I don't know. Either way, he's like starved. It's not going well for Kosawana. Um, we have a very brief conversation of what we're going to do. Um, in the end, we decide, even though Kosawana is a bad father, he could possibly still be redeemed. So we elect to bring him back to Alchemstar with us. And we haven't really decided on what we're going to do in regards to sweep up him, because we're kind of worried the church might try to confiscate him. And then if we try to give him to the government, the government might try to confiscate him. So we that's a problem for later. Um, either way, we end up agreeing that let's get you out of here. Let's kill this freaking dog. Um, and we could possibly find the parts that we need for the airship through the Sphinx that he brought. Or just around the temple since it's the Temple of Bri. Um, and we end up going to a room. Uh, we, we loot uh, some stuff and Grom gets a cool new coat with the symbol of Bri on it. And uh, he puts it on. It's like a big like sack of holding, but on your sleeves and for alchemy supplies. It's pretty cool. Uh, as we're exploring, the Claws of Time attacks uh, while we were in combat with two other cleric ghosts. Um, we're in the middle of the combat when that happens. Uh, Henry is tanking, because uh, I don't think they can actually damage him. Uh, and uh, the Claws of Time is assaulting us outside of the room. That's kind of where we are. All right. Well done. Take your third hero point and your third hero card. Draw. Hooray. If anybody wants a fact expiration of D3, you can add to any D20 check after the fact. Uh, go ahead and roll um, D20 in the chat so you could uh, reveal meta a, a secret that you haven't shared with the party. And then I guess you can ask another willing party member to share their secret or uh, an NPC, which would be maybe problematic to the plot, but that's fine. All right, we got a two <laughs> from Jet Re going once going twice all right jet what is the secret that you have not told the rest of the party this is meta knowledge right yeah yeah they, they would never know uh, okay uh he's not an elf he's a kid too. oh okay <laughs> I, I i how think and he can use can use cantrips oh my god he can use cantrips this entire time oh my gosh he's gotta go yeah. he's gotta go he can use magic it's over he's out of the gang <laughs> You've been very responsible not using these cantrips. Uh, I feel like in the in a different timeline, <laughs> the, there's people just using cantrips willy nilly. Just uh, we spend a lot of time just rolling random wild magic surges and seeing if everyone lives. Like yeah, I saw how many wild magics has been happening, and I've uh, that cemented my reason for not using cantrips. <laughs> it's very, it's very, uh, it's very fair. Honestly. Saturday mornings, I just wake up, I put one bullet in the six shooter, I give it a spin, and that's the game. That's it. <laughs> like over and over again. That's all we do. Um fantastic. Okay, you may ask the same question of any NPC that you've met previously in the campaign. Okay. Um or uh, another party member if they're willing to answer. I think yeah, let's Let's do another party member. That's, okay. I think that'd be oh, cool. Boy. Um. Mm, 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 who would have a juicy secret? I think, honestly, I think Jericho would have the juiciest secret. Oh, man. You know, little old me, I, listen, I don't keep <laughs> any secrets from the party. I'm an open book, an open source text, if you will. Um, I can, uh, yeah. so I guess if I had to make, make a secret... Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff Jericho has mentioned before, um, uh, I guess we can do, like, a, a rapid fire in case I haven't covered them. Uh, she's a terrorist in Geb. She tried to blow up the city, and she failed. Um, she blew herself up, actually, which is kind of funny. Um, and her, her brother is a necromancer who brought her back to life, and... 
I, ge I guess that counts as a secret. Oh, she has a secret crush on Vashon Gattleby, but the train has left the station. It's too late, Vashon. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but other than that, no. I, I feel like most of the secrets Jericho has are, have been have been put out into the world one way or another. I feel like kind of a cop-out well, on my end. but No, fair enough. I, I don't think everybody had, had all those uh, on their yeah, bingo so. board. They have that secret where you made a deal with that demon. Oh, that's not a secret. Oh. <laughs> that, I think no, you made the that. Secret, <laughs> the secret part is that the actual deal was that anybody you made friends with would die. <laughs> oh, true. True. Every, <laughs> everyone I love dies. And that's just uh, that's just kind of a... It's not and, really a secret, the, but, you know, it's a secret to the payment, people I love. So. payment, you've got your, your fungus that heals you. <laughs> true, 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 true. <laughs> Worth it, honestly. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Did we leave ourselves any notes last week? Let's see. Session ended at the top of round two. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Uh, let's go grab that co some combat music real quick. Oh, I got another Jericho secret for you because I just thought of one. Jericho hates undead. She thinks they're gross and ugly, and they smell. She hates undead. They suck. Wow, Fair. that's a fun little fun little fact about Jericho. Isn't aren't you undead though? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Uh, oh man, it's unfortunate. That's, so mm -hmm. she, that's why mean... the, the chia pet kind of gives her like a flowery aroma, so she can kind of like cope with it, you know. But like, well, according to a vampire that I know pretty pretty well i don't want to say intimately but pretty well um that is why bony boys are superior to zombies in every way um i, I think bones can still smell if you don't like clean them though right like they're yeah, still but like they, a body part but they're a lot easier to clean you just get them gather every every ball the bony boys strip down they get into the courtyard they get just rained on them, like hose them yeah off, you know? like, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. like so it's it's a lot easier to maintain, from what I understand. It's a lot easier. Flesh also starts to smell if you don't clean it. Okay. Yeah. I... Pro this is and this guy knows. This guy is an alchemist. Okay. <laughs> he yeah. knows. I believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So let's hop into it. Uh, we're already on the map. We're already in initiative. Our initiative tracker works. It's amazing. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Glad you found Roll of Fate helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been very helpful. So, uh, I've had some some initiative uh, fans get a little upset, but, you know, such is life. Uh, let's see. Hmm. You better not tell them about side initiative. All right. Uh, but, 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 but who's a better target here? I feel like it picks on Kelly so much. It just picks on Kelly so much. It's okay. It's going to take me out. We're, yeah, we're <laughs> on the homepage. The map. Oh, you guys are still on the homepage? Mm -hmm. I thought everybody was in the map. Okay, hold on. Um, I mean, it's gotten so bad, he's trying to take me out in real life, so. Aw. Wait, was there a uh, multi-eyed, multi-mouthed, uh, shifting orifice, uh, two-headed... Lamprey dog in your house? Is that what happened? It, 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 I, I, I'm calling it that. I rolled my ankle real bad. So. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, since you rolled your ankle, we'll kill Jericho instead. All right. So, Jericho, mm -hmm. appearing appearing from invisibility, you mm -hmm. would be flat footed. Uh, where's that flat footed? There we go. And then it is going to give you a chomp. Um, or try to. That's why she hates dogs. Critical. God. All right. It's a good can't start. See, we can't see your rules. I just only saw the. Uh... All right. Thirty-four yeah. points of damage. Can you make your rules? Can you make your rules visible? We can't see them. Oh, they're all visible. Mm -hmm. Invisible. Okay. Uh, that's weird. All right. Uh, reveal to everyone. Wow, that hurts. Uh, he, did he crit me? 
Yeah, he um, did crit you. I'm gonna use my reaction to collapse to take normal damage. I know, <laughs> I know, this, is, I know this is a dangerous thing, but I'm already flat footed, so I know. Okay. <laughs> so can you can you roll with normal damage, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Here's a here's a normal damage for you. Oh, that's, that's a pretty not... good normal damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm prone. All right. Um, let's see. And then the creature will, um, hmm. Yeah, sure. The creature will attack. Hey, yeah. The the creature will attack Kelly this time. Um, with its um claws. There we go. Oh, I guess I did claws both times. I probably should have done uh, jaws on that first one. Would have hit hit a lot harder. Oh well. Um. All right. Here we go. And just a normal hit. All right. Four sixteen. And that is his three Pac-Mans. All right. Play passes to Grom. Uh, Grom at the beginning of your turn. Uh, yeah. I think you might get unzipped here. Let me see. Uh, is it beginning or end? Let's see. Um, when a creature ends its turn. Okay, so don't end your turn in its emanation. Uh, spaces that would be safe are here, here, and here. Everywhere else is a very bad time. Or on the other side of Jet. Alright. Well, let's try to what's it called when you're moving through uh tumble, tumble through. through yep there you go target one of them spooks um yeah uh, over to here and over to there i will then do a quick alchemy and make one of these Draw it and throw it. Let's see which one we have here. Are you wounded at all? Are these two undead in front of me? Is one of them wounded? On the white, on the on the right hand side, the is injured and knocked prone, as Galarian ghosts tend to do. Uh, yeah. Does that make them easier to hit? Was it? Uh, yeah, they'd be off guard. All right, let's target him then. All right. And chuck this. At him. That's a miss. That's gonna miss. But it still does splash damage. Yeah, let me see. What is that one? Sorry. Uh, what is this? Bottled some. There we go. I have learned that unless an emanate like emanations do not go around corners. Uh, at least they don't go around corners like very well. So that I think was it takes two vitality splash damage. Two vitality splash damage. Uh, all right. It can't. Unless they have a vulnerability to sunlight, in which case they take more. Well, if you hit damage button, I will apply the. Uh... Thank you. Uh, here we go. Splash. Okay. All right. Would it also splash this dude right here, or you're you're doing the one where it's an isolated no, no, target, no. so it doesn't hit your friend? Okay. Gotcha. My friend. Yeah, because um, it only if I guess he is undead now, huh? Yeah. I'll I'll isolate it. I don't want to. Isolate it. Here. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then play passes to Jet. Um. Yeah. Give me a second. Had to reload. Uh, Jet, you are in a dangerous space, uh, yes. but the space to your right is considered safe. Alright, cool. Uh, target the claws of time. Uh, going to go ahead and do hair chops. Ooh, 
that's going to hit. Oof. Nothing. All right. Mm. All right. And second. Yeah, there we go. Great. Hey. All right, 27 damage. Got to make a constitution, or sorry, fortitude save, or be stunned. Stunned one. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Okay, it makes the save, so it is not stunned, but it does take the damage. Uh, a pretty significant amount of damage. All right. And then I will, uh... Go ahead and do a running reload, so I get to move, and then I'll get to stride, and then interact to reload. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stride over here. And reload. Okay, my turn. Over. All right. That brings us to Agitated Zealot. Uh, let's see. Agitated Zealot is down on the ground. Um... That's no fun. And let's see. All of its special abilities have to do with messing up um, divine spellcasters, of which <laughs> there is a very low amount. Um, hmm. Okay. And then... Zealous Conviction. Oh. Oh, Okay. Um, yeah, they're going to be in casting a spell. Oh, all right. Henry, attack. <laughs> okay. Ah, just a regular old hit. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> For minimum damage. <laughs> oh, all right. You gently uh, tap him with your hammer as if no, to I say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> say, sir, sir. No, no spell casting. Um, on that note, it do go to cast a spell. Uh, but no wild surge occurs. And it casts Zealous Conviction, self only. Um, you bypass your target's rational minds, instilling them with unshakable conviction and zeal. They gain 12 temp HP. This is the highest amount of temp HP I've ever seen in uh, on any Pathfinder 2 ability. Uh, a plus 2 status bonus to will saves against mental effects as their faith overrides the signals from their own bodies and minds. If you tell a target to do something, they must comply with your request. Um, though it would normally find the task repugnant, it can attempt a will save. Um, so yeah, they, it tells himself, kill this Bryite. That's what it tells itself. It's like slapping itself in the cheeks. You know, it's like, yeah, get, get fucking pumped. Get motivated. Um, and that's what it's going to do. All right, and then I guess with its last Pac-Man, it will stand up, <laughs> such as ghosts do. Um, and then that will be its turn. Henry, to you. Uh, Henry's gonna try to kill this dude. So... Okay. Wait, can I make uh, a? Can I make? Can I make a? I don't mean to. Can I just make a suggestion. Hear me mm. out, okay? Hear me out. Also, time is right there. Yeah. How am I gonna hit him? Delay, and then Kelly can move over here. Would delaying in the emanation still trigger the emanation? I would say yes. Uh, right? I, think, I think Henry would take it, though. I feel yeah, like I think okay. he would take it, but like, he's... Because the time is right there, man. No, I'm, I'm fine with this plan. Henry will <laughs> delay and take this damage. All or right. Whatever. <laughs> so anybody can try to correct me in chat, but I'm pretty sure you can't delay to avoid an inevitably yeah. bad effect. So... With that in mind, I think that yeah, it would it would affect you. So go ahead and give me a fortitude save against some slashy damage. Oh, well, that's terrible. Let's you know, let's just not let our day start off that bad. Let's let's use a hero. <laughs> All right. Are you sure it could be pretty fun to take double damage? No, no, okay. he, he has experienced that already. If oh, you okay. All right. <laughs> Oh, it was a big one, too. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> that would have been a lot of damage. All right, so 29 points of slashing damage. All right, not too bad. All right, and then you're going to delay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right, that brings us to Kelly. Kelly, you're in the danger zone. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a hmm? minute. 
you have a divine spell. You can cast light. It's an innate <laughs> ability. It's not a spell. I know, but I mean, that's, these guys are pretty hard up for people that can cast <laughs> divine magic. So, uh, abandoned zealots in your area would like to meet up. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we are going to step. I guess we got to roll through, don't we? Dang. Okay. All right. Do you want to try um, to go through the creature or do you want to just, I mean, there's not too many places to go right now. We're going to devise a strategy. Let's okay. Oof. <laughs> okay. Oh, so nice. well, now you know. any, anything related to the claw is not going to go well. So you have two more backmans. Yep. Yep. Because that'll affect the roll through a roll, won't it? I'm pretty sure, right? Devised stratagem is whatever roll you're going to affect that creature with. Uh, it's, just for strike. it's just for strike. Yeah. yeah so if you strike the creature. Means. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to try to move through it. I'll... All right. That's my second action, I guess. Okay, so a... target it and then do a tumble through. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's not going to make it, but it's not a critical fail, so that's good. You have one more action left. Um, we'll try tumbling through again, and that's all, all I can do. Uh, okay, if you do, you'll block up the space, and then Henry, uh, who's delaying, won't be able to get in there. Oh, okay, then you can move I'll move here. back behind Henry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so still within gonna... emanation range, though, unfortunately. All right, so, yeah, so then you do end your turn in the emanation. Here. Yeah, you could tumble through there. Yeah. Still, I mean, worst case fails. scenario, worst case scenario, you just like fall prone right here, right? If you critically right. fail, so yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, you'd be able to do it. Hey. hey, there you go. So you're in the back corner, and you do not take the emanation damage. Hooray! So I don't think. Let me see. Hold on. Let me move you out of the space this space uh yep those are that's the safe space excellent okay um play passes to henry all right henry step up kill okay. him please god uh he he is gonna try to kill this thing okay uh we will, we will try Let's go. The cre the creature wow. stares at you. Its uh, eyes undulating, um, appearing, disappearing as they birth themselves from the blue flesh. Hmm. Average damage. All uh. right, you swing, you hit it right upside the head, and everything just kind of bends in uh, and around the hammer, and the hammer just sort of passes through. It does take some damage. Hmm. All right. Uh. And then... Let's see. Well, there's no reason to do not, not to do this. Um, oh wait, that doesn't make any sense. Sorry, I was this is a new ability and I didn't know. Oh, oh. So I won't use that new ability because it doesn't it doesn't do what I think it does. Um, all right, he'll just attack again. I guess that's where I'm at. Okay. And I'm beginning to question what class I'm playing apparently because I think <laughs> I have options. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, oh, damn. Uh, All right. My one. Oh, it's my the, it one. must be a 30 mm. then. Do you want to I mean, succeed? I know, I know. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, Henry, right? skill of Henry, succeeding at a cost. He says that out loud. Remember, you only succeed at a cost if you fail, not to, not to score a crit. Only yeah, if you fail. This yeah. is a mess. Oh, you missed. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were trying to get a crit. Yeah, then that's going to hit, uh, but let's see what it is. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I, I'm still not used to these huge bath slant finder numbers. I'm like, oh, 29. He must have missed by one for a crit. No, it just means you missed by one <laughs> total. Um, all right, so see what it cost. The worst possible result. Um, hmm. 
And it's not a spell, so uh, negative one circumstance penalty to attack rolls until you score a critical hit. That seems like the worst thing that could be. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So we'll apply that. All right. All right. Um. So twenty-one more damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Cre near death. Creature is near death. Uh, it lets out um, sort of these whistling screams all down the many orifices of its body, uh, but stands defiantly before you. Uh, you already took the damage this round from the emanation, so I'm not going to make you take it twice. All right. Uh, that is right. Henry's reaction. Jericho, you got this. He thinks. <laughs> nice. I don't know about that. <laughs> all right. Hip hop abandoned zealot. It, it sensed the air, and it's like, wait, this guy, why didn't we realize it in the first place? He's a divine spellcaster. Look at him. He's got those beautiful golden eyeballs. He's, he could probably cast, I don't know, Miracle or something. He could cast some really strong divine magic, uh, and they're going to attack you. Uh, here we go. They will use Hand of Despair. Uh, but first, they will threaten you. Yes, that's what they'll do. They will threaten you. Uh, they will try to demoralize you by telling you that your faith cannot save you. And uh, appropriately enough, uh, it has no effect on you because <laughs> cause you are a very anti, uh, anti-divine anti uh, character, despite being an ASMR, um, realizing they're barking up the wrong tree. They're they're still going to follow through because they don't want to admit that they were wrong. All right, here we go. Just like hey. religious zealots. Yeah, critical hit. A gentle... Yeah, uh, 30 points of void damage. Ow. And then they're going to rend your faith. Um, You are capable of divine spellcasting, technically. <laughs> technically, right? Um, so give me a will save. This is just so the monster doesn't feel can bad, I, okay? Can I play a hero card? Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, if, it, if, it, if its trigger has been met. I, I think so. Um, okay. I'm gonna play Distract Foe. Alright. Uh, when, uh, when the foe within 30 feet makes a melee attack at another creature, the foe is uh, fascinated with you. I don't okay. know how fascinated it does. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, it's all it, it's good against spell casters because they can't use concentrate mm, yeah would the ren thing be concentrate um it doesn't have the concentrate tag that's tragic so no. okay yeah. well this is you want to keep you want to you want to um <laughs> it, it really fascinated is in my experience is is good for Spellcasters that are All trying right. to concentrate on stuff. Will, yeah, I will. I will hold it and then watch. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Really. All right. So give me that will save you did. Uh, all right. So you don't have your light cantrip <laughs> taken away from you for the next six seconds. Damn. Um. All right. And then the creature is going to with its last uh, action. Um. Yeah, it will it will attack one more time with its hand of despair. Getting another critical hit. Holy shit. Uh for thirty four points of void damage. God damn. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Alright. I I had honestly given up on you, abandoned zealot, but you know? Um, play passes to Jericho. Alright, um, first action, I'm going to trigger my helm. I'm very sorry, Jitri. You're going to be caught in the crossfire. Please forgive me. It's going to happen to me? He's gonna, she's apparently going to shoot you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so 30 foot emanation. 20 foot. 20, 20, foot, 20 foot. 20 foot. Okay. 20 foot emanation. Uh, and I think it's just the hound and Jet need to make, um... Uh, why wouldn't it be Henry? I think he's not in the emanation. Well, uh, watch, watch this crazy shit. I'm oh, gonna I, put oh, the I, Oh, I dropped it already. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What color is yours? Red. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see it now. Okay, yeah. there's already another. Oh, okay, there's all these other things. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, because of that hard corner, Henry does not get caught by it. Sorry, Jet. 
Wow. Okay. I gotta make a basic reflex save. Basic yeah, reflex. DC 19. Good luck. I hope so. Your dex. Oh! <gasps> what? <laughs> it got a that one. Did it really? That's yeah. incredible. Alright, cool. Alright. Uh, give me the 4d6 piercing damage. That's pretty good. 18. Okay. Um, Alright, the creature is... is... Let's see. Yup. <sighs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so you would take half. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, Mega Volt and I'm going to... Uh, unstable action it. Okay. So it's going to be a it is, it's a sixty foot line that doesn't matter. Um, but let me just turn this. You like twink 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 twink. Um, and then it's going to need to make a DC zero basic reflex save. <laughs> uh, it's going to make a my class DC, which is this happens every time. Twenty two. Uh, dexterity okay. saving throw. Uh, reflex saving throw. What's a dex save? Yeah. All right, it makes the save. Okay, that's all right. So gonna take half. Okay. Of of three D of three D twelve. All right, please, could be a lot of damage. Please, please roll high. That's not high. That's okay, mm. I guess. But. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Jesus Christ, thank God. Uh, I'm still on the ground. Oh, wait, 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 sorry, wait, sorry. It's supposed to take half damage, you said? It could take full from just that. for funsies, it, you know? Oh, this is, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. It is, uh, on its last legs. God. Oh, God. Damn, damn it. Oh. I thought you had it, jerk. Dude, I got teased. <laughs> All right, uh. Hmm. Hmm, I'm looking at my hero cards. I don't think I have anything. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's I gonna... mean, technically, B team has something, but. They can add damage, right? And yeah. But can but they? can they can they add enough damage? Is the question. I don't know where they are. Um, how much damage do they even add? I don't remember. Is it level? Yeah, I think it might be level, right? So that would be Let's plus see. plus three damage because it got halved. Uh, damage equal to half your level. Oh, uh, it's gonna be like one point yeah. of damage extra. All right, all right. Sorry, between. Okay. Uh, yeah. Anything else from Jericho? No, that's it. That's it. I'm. That's all right. Oh, I gotta make an unstable check. Uh, I could do and, that. And you also have to go against this uh, ripping gaze. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just wanted you to put the save out there, ripping gaze. There we go. Uh, one sec. Just gotta make that real quick. Excellent. I don't explode. Ah. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I will, uh, use a, uh, zero point for that. Sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no damage. One. Wow. That's right. the best feeling when you hero point into a nat 20. All right. Now the next... No, I hope this cause of time doesn't get away. <laughs> That's it. Uh, the okay. cause of time is out of order now because he was dead and not dead. Yeah, my bad, my bad. There we go. Bring this all the way to the top. All right. Uh, so the cause of time... It uh, it stares into your skull, Jericho, and then it turns and it stares at you, Henry, and then. That you're just gonna attack Martini. What are you gonna do? And then hmm? it hmm? it does like a little bow to to both of you, and it steps, <laughs> and it you steps. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was obviously going to. <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> and then it vanishes, but this time, when it vanishes, it you see something, Jericho, something sharp with the harshest angles you've ever seen. Some metallic-looking uh, stone falls ding, 
ding, ding, ding, ding, ding. On the ground. Can I... We've seen this thing teleport around for the past however long. Mm -hmm. Did it teleport? I mean, or did it just turn invisible? On your, on your next turn, you can do a recall okay. knowledge. Okay, okay, okay. okay. There, okay. There, okay. There's feats that let you figure that stuff out as a reaction. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You can learn it at the Megambia. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Go uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let me see. With it doing that, I got to change the music. <laughs> so we could focus on the ghosts. All right, Grom, to you. Yes. Um. What are the how many actions would it take for me to pull out an elixir of life and give it to Kelly? Is that two? Uh. Yes, two. Because he's right next to you. And I mean, was that actually applying it to him so he gets the healing? Because he's well, unconscious. Yeah, one and two, right? You okay. pull it out and you put it in his butthole or his mouth, wherever, and then, you, right? Ah. Uh. I was yeah. just saying, I have I have a no cost healing uh, healing <laughs> card hero hero card healing. <laughs> but do you go before agitated might kill him? Hmm, uh, that's a risk that someone's willing to take. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he got dropped to dying too from a crit, so. Ah, uh, fair. Never mind. Yeah, not everybody going around with die hard. You know what I'm saying? But I'm starting to think they should. <laughs> I've, I'm, I've adjusted my uh, my build, uh, my other characters, to uh, take that into consideration. All right. Uh, so, Kelly, you're healed for 17. Uh, you're still prone, uh, but no longer in in danger of dying. Well, I mean, you actually listen. You healed 17. All right, Grom, you have one Pac-Man left. What are you gonna do? Grom, anything? Sorry, I was muted. Oh, yeah, okay. Another healing potion for myself that I can drink. Okay, right and now. you just got it readied? All right. Yeah. All right, play passes to Jet Re. All right, I will uh, again do a running reload. Okay. So I will stride and reload, and I will go ahead and... Not enough to get in because I'll be standing where Henry is, but I can see the slivers. Oh, Jet, you would, no you would notice a uh, very sharp piece of metal on the ground here that catches the light in almost impossible ways. Mm. That looks cool. But I have to take care of this. Oh, uh, okay. Uh uh, paired shots on that guy is going to get some All good right. cover. But... Yeah, he's definitely going to have some cover. Let me apply that real quick. All right, go for it. All right, it's going to be a hit. And another hit. All right. I'll do both damages at the same time in case they have some kind of resistance, which they do. So this would actually do quite a bit more damage. All right. And that's okay. my turn. All right. Uh, play passes to Agitated Abandoned Zealots. All right. It is going to... Um... Oh, interesting. Um, okay. It is going to five foot step to here. And then Grom, it is going to cast a spell at you. I'll roll to see if anything crazy happens. Uh, sadly, something crazy happens. Uh, all right. I legit spent all of last Tuesday scared shitless because everyone kept casting spells all the time. Um, it never occurred to me that it was okay to do that in in the game. Uh, let's see, 17. Luminous pests. Um, numerous tiny flying creatures formed of bright, colorful light. Um, emerge 
from the caster flying in a 30-foot cone. You and all creatures in the cone must make a will save or be dazzled for one minute or blinded for one round and then dazzled for one minute on a critical fail. Well, that's a lot. All right. And the DC of this would be a 22. All right. So a 22 um, will save. The template is a 30-foot cone. Um, I'm going to assume that, yeah, it hits everybody in the room. So both the ghosts and both the adventurers that are in the room. Go ahead and give me will saves. DC 22. Okay. Um, so Agitated, who cast the spell in the first place, um, is dazzled. But at least the spell got off, so that's something. Uh, let's see. And then this one critically succeeded, so he's fine. Um, Kelly, you didn't critically fail. And Grom, you didn't critically fail. So the two of you are also dazzled. All right. Dazzle do. Yeah, what does Dazzle do? Your eyes are overstimulated and your vision is swimming. If, you're, if vision is your only precise sense, all creatures and objects are concealed from you. Uh, so it just gives you a percentage chance to miss on all your stuff. Um, this happened as the spell is being cast, so the spell is still going to hit Grom. This is Crisis of Faith. And I cast it off the wrong one, but that's okay. Um, you got to make a DC 24 will save. And since you are not a divine caster, um, it's only going to do 6d6 points of mental damage to you. So, um, I've had Brighton 2 for a while now. Should that be going down or is there... Yeah, every turn it should be going down. Um, I don't believe the Frightened conditions automate to go down. You have to remember to, like, right-click them as your turn ends. Okay. There's a way to automate it in Workbench. Is there? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'll I'll write that down. Ask Dom. He probably knows. I don't know how to do it. I just know it exists. Okay. Ugh. All right. Back. You gonna reroll? Okay. Yeah. Sheesh. All right. Yeah. All right. So critical failure. You take double damage. You're stupefied for one round and worse than that you can't cast divine spells for one round oh no all right so here is your damage oh apparently it was upcast oh shit okay um so it's 23 uh, honestly 23 on 86 not too bad um but you do take double so it's 46 points of damage all right Laying on Grom's chest is a healing potion. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right. Uh, play passes to Henry. Sure. Here you go, Grom. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Healing prayer. Play during your uh, turn. Select yourself or an ally within reach. Uh, they, re they regain hit points. Uh, uh, well, within reach. On. Okay. Hold on. He always going to move anyway. So okay. He move. Okay, okay, he runs into a wall and moves, but here. There we okay. go. <laughs> Alright, now he plays the card. <laughs> Alright. Alright, the card is just free, it just happens. Alright, now he's gonna try to kill one of these dudes. Let's see. No, kill the Ed him be able to kill a hip hop before hip hop gets to go. We'll try. <laughs> Alright. So he moved, and now he's gonna just try to strike. Uh, let's see, is there anything cool that I can do? Uh no, just regular attack. All right, <laughs> regular attack. Hmm. Terrible damage tonight. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out this hammer, guys. I'm uh, <laughs> feeling weird. <laughs> it's hard. Uh, without, it's hard it's without the, muscles. It's a lack of muscles. You got. You get used to it after a while, Henry. All right. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> All right. Uh, that one's better. <laughs> Also, I mean, you're playing with D12s, so you, you can never really yeah. feel, like, predictable 
dice yeah, rolls. Yeah, just wild. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's a solid hit. Um, but the creature survives. All right, that's Henry's whole turn. Oof. All right, Kelly McLean, you're up. You also may be muted. Hello? Stone. Sorry. What? You, you're up. Yep. Uh, I'm going to stand up. Get out prone. All right. And then we are going to pick up our item interact to pick up our weapon off the ground. Right. Uh, yes. Selection? It, no, it's a well. I mean, they're <laughs> bro. It's Pathfinder. Well, they're they're all actions. Pass, yep. Yeah. Right. One, two, and we'll make an attack. Okay. Sell it. Uh, that's a twenty-one. Oh, hell yeah! All right, nice. Uh, through the dazzling um, lights in your eyes, you land a critical hit on uh, the hip hop zealot. All right, it's going to take most of that damage uh, and be bloodied. Well, you know the fun ghost touch yet? So. Mm -hmm. All right. So I was one That's to stand three. up, one to pick up your item, and then one to attack. Got it. All right. Hip hop is up. It can't get out of here to cast a spell. Um, and Henry's just going to beat it upside the head if it tries to cast a spell. Um, but its spell would be pretty cool if it got it off. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, so it it will first uh, go ahead and attack uh, Grom, who is wearing the robes of Bri and reminding it of all the things that went wrong with his life. So here is the Hand of Despair. Damn, this dude has just fucking crit every attack it's made. It's incredible. 36 points of void damage, Grom. Well, he's already been wasting the action standing up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, joke's on him. You were already on the ground. Um, and then it is going to... Um, mm, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool. All right, it's going to start charging up its Kamikami Kai uh, laser beam and of of anti-faith. So it is going to start casting a spell. Oh, all right. Well, here we go. <laughs> no spell for you. <laughs> Dang. All right. No. It wanted to, It had to be flashy. It was trying to be flashy. Um, unfortunately, before it can nuke Grom, which is what I was going to do, because I'm a real son of a bitch, um, with that, uh, 8d6, um, points of damage, uh, it is annihilated. Alright. Um, Jericho, you're up. Alright. I'm gonna use one action to stand up. Okay. Uh, I think I can, hang on, I'm just, can I just map something out real quick? I can't, I don't know how much I'm going to get here. I'm just curious if I do. Uh, I you do. guys need to take better care of your Grom. This is a dying three again, all right? Like. We're, 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 help <sighs> is on the way, help is on the way. Um, second Pac-Man, I'm going to do a recall knowledge check on what that dog just did. If that was a teleport or was it invisibility? Oh, okay. He's um, just standing there. I will wow. come and punch it. Do you have... Alright, just don't dump them on me. It's hard for me to remember. How, mm -hmm. Do you have any of the feats that are like, nah, dog, I always get information, it's always right, or I, I get to... I will use a hero point if that's what you're implying. 
I always get fake information and real information. No, I'm just saying there's like a lot of feats that they don't mention when you roll the thing and uh, I don't no. I don't have everybody's weird skill feats memorized. Okay, so you just I roll normal feats. recall knowledge. Yeah. Yes. You just roll normal fucking recall knowledge. Yeah. Alright, you don't you don't know shit, Jericho. Okay, that's fine by me. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna go for right. my friends. Um, Alright. Sorry, I have in the other group, like, they have like all the feats that are like, well, I always get a critical success just by saying I recall knowledge. It's like, well, just fucking open the monster manual then. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> why, why am I even fucking here? Hey, I'm going to move the camera real quick so I can get okay. it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's my turn. Three actions. Okay. Oh, All right, top of the see. rounds. Jet Re. Okay. Uh, remind me, what's this guy suffered from again? Which guy? What's this guy suffering from? Is he suffering from anything? Uh, he has. Like he's stone. he's dazzled, mm -hmm. um, and he has zealous conviction, and um, he's not prone. I don't know why it says he's prone. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. So that's it. Yeah, he's just dazzled and and uh, has zealous conviction on. And what I will do is uh. He will do counters reload on him. Do uh, um, let's see. To demolarize him, create diversion. I forget what create diversion does. Oh, makes uh potential to make him flat. Thing. Yeah. Um, so we'll go with that to create that. All right. So. Do, do, do. Create diversion with a distracting wrench. Oh, yeah. Um, so you want to set it off guard? Yes. All right. And then I will go. Yeah. Ahead and... so so your eyes flick to the to the right and it like looks to the right you know uh, to its left real quick like oh shit is there a cleric finally and then while it's looking for the cleric that's when you strike all right and then i will take a shot at him all right as my second pack that's critical, critical hit. hit seven then he needs to make a DC fortitude save. All right. Um, I don't see the damage. Did you the, the critical damage button for me? I did. Oh, I... really? All right. Let me yeah, refresh. It's a uh, twenty-seven. Uh... All right. I gotta refresh. I guess. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. It's, a, it's a twenty-seven piercing, or if it's like the concussive thing. Uh, with with uh, dealing with resistance or immunity. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the damage now. Okay. And then, uh, last Pac-Man, I will uh, just do a dual weapon reload. Okay, it makes the save. It takes quite a bit of damage. And is bloodied. All oh, right. And that is my turn. Okay. Um. Play passes to the agitated zealot. All right. With these two bony boys blocking the way to the uh, divine casters, that's not a fun time. And then this guy's blocking the exit. Hate that. Hate to see it. Um. Hmm. This guy has no spells left to cast. Um, oh, he can attack us, you know. Yeah, sure. Um, it just—it just feels like you guys. Listen, you don't really give off religious vibes. I, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we give off the most religious vibes. Just, I think you give off pretty you know? ir irreverent vibes, is what <laughs> I think. I... <laughs> You know what? This guy, this guy is more, it looks more religious. He's going to be very racist. He's going to be like, fucking skeletons. They don't believe in shit. Um, and it's going to step 
and just goes step, giving you a Luigi side eye uh, as it goes, Henry. Henry cackles because he already wait, 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 wait. No, somebody, too late. <laughs> I think somebody called me out on this. I don't think, I don't think that creatures that have a zero speed and only a fly speed can step. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. Which I, which I think is the dumbest <laughs> shit I've ever dumb. heard of. And fortunately, I have a, I have a tweet from Aaron Shanks of Paizo. It says I can do whatever the fuck I want. Um, all right. So, but since you don't have a reaction and it has a flight speed, it is instead going to do this, this hotness. All right. It is going to fly because we've established it's got a 10 foot high ceiling in the hallway over Jet's head into the room over here. It's like a hero card for Crash, you know? <laughs> Uh, it is. It is. I car I carried in my wallet. So I got pulled over by the cops the other day, and I was like, I don't know if you want me to call Aaron Shanks or just tweet at him, but I think you're gonna have you're gonna be regretting what you did today. You know what I'm saying? Because I got this tweet from Aaron Shanks from Paizo. It says I can do whatever I want. Um. All right. So as it flies away, it then wheels on jet, and it is going to. Oh, I, I flew away like I had like a cool cool spell left to cast. And then it's going to attack you. Here we go. Um If you believe in anything, it's about to tell you you don't believe in shit. Alright, so that's gonna be a hit. Almost okay. a critical hit. It could be if you wanted. Just let me know. And then follow up attack is gonna miss. Alright. And Henry, to you. All right. I don't think Henry can see that well, so he's gonna he's just gonna wander out okay. and just hope that he can hit something in the dark. Oh, sorry. Oh, Someone built a ha somebody built a house there. Oh, all right. Well, he's just gonna he's just gonna target this thing around the corner with all this concealment. Okay. <laughs> swing. Skeletons not having dark vision is one of the funniest things ever because like you put these dudes in dungeons and uh, the lights and they just can't see shit. I think that's just so funny. Wow, terrible. And all their right. and their eyes are literally lights, <laughs> like little lights floating <laughs> in their like, eyes. Yeah, I think it's so funny. Yep. All, all right. right, that Henry. What would be great oh, is if there's like three sentient bears in the truck. Oh. <laughs> Did he miss by he's... one at all? Because he shouldn't have had the critical effect anymore because he got a critical success earlier. Oh, okay. You're right. Um, so that one would have hit. Give me some damage. Oh, the the, the first one would have hit. Uh, right? Because that was they, Well, they they both say they missed by one, so... Yep. All, all right. right. Oh, these dice rolls tonight hate me. <laughs> Henry just wheel it around, slamming it against whatever. <laughs> Okay. Now you're saying that Henry can't actually see these guys, so there would be concealment rolls there. I I thought it automated that. <laughs> no. Um, it. Not I mean, I don't. Vision. Yeah, I don't see him in, in oh, chat. Man. So go ahead and All give right. me some d20 rolls. All right. Come on, roll, roll the die. Hmm. Okay. So dark vision, they would be. Concealed or hidden? Because uh, concealed is a DC flat, but hidden... Or a flat 5, but hidden is a flat 11. I feel like if you can't see them at all, they're hidden from you. Yeah? Um, uh, I, can, I can make out the quarter of him over here. Um, <laughs> okay, we'll say he's concealed then. That's fine. Um, Alright, so both of those are going to hit. And he's going to take... Uh, damage and damage. Ooh, and he is near death. All right, play passes to Kelly McLean. All right. We are going to. You do have a man down here. Yeah. Um... Again. You see a little hand reach out from underneath the. Uh, and oh, we did oh, pass, so I can actually bandage him back up. Okay, cool. Pulls on your leg. <laughs> Grump. So we'll do some battle medicine. Twenty one health. And just drag the immunity effect on you if it's not on there already. Uh 
I mean, if it is on there, that's a whole other thing, but yeah. Right. It shouldn't be on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then? Um, and then I am going to move up here. And call it to Henry. Is it dead yet? <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't see around the corner. <laughs> All right, I'll wait here then. All right, Rom, to you. I am unable to drag the immune thing onto my token. It's good, already there. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah, because I clicked little, it on. Okay, so I put the icon oh, on. There it is. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. gotcha. All right, my frightened goes away completely now. I will pick up my healing potion that's laying there, mm -hmm. and I'll drink that, and I will unprone myself. And that's three, yeah. Pick up, drink, and stand up. Yep, yeah, I'm done. Efficiency. Jericho, do you? Is it dead yet? No, it's not. All right, I delay until uh. <laughs> Until Jet's turn. All right, Jet, to you. All right. Uh, Jet, you you also don't have dark vision. No, I have right? no light vision. Okay, so you could, yeah, I'll say it's concealed then to you. So you, it's only a flat five to miss. Uh, so it's right in front of you. Right in front of me, you say. Mm-hmm. I am going to use running reload again to mm -hmm. uh, see to running reload will allow me to step uh, stride step or sneak I'm going to step back here then reload. Uh, and then target. And then uh, loose another pair of shots. So I need to make, what, two D20s, right? Yes. As oh. part of your attacks, yep. First shot. All right, that's going to hit. And then here's a second D20. And that's going to hit. Well, I mean, it's going to at least target it properly. Uh, and that's going to hit. Alright, so damage from the first one, damage from the second one. Here we go. Alright, so that's so a 12 minus 5 would be 7? Yes. Alright, it is still going. Oh my God. It's still going. It's on its last leg. <laughs> Sometimes I think Dom just joins the VC. <laughs> I just, I just, like he's here. <laughs> All right, and that's your three pack mans that brings us yep. to oh, the no. creature. Fool, what? Foolish what? crash gem. It is Jericho's turn because she delayed until Jet's. Oh turn. no! Ooh. All right. Ooh. Uh, I felt something for a moment. What is was it hope? Oh, that my mo it, that my monster with four hit points might get to make one more critical hit? No, no, no. Foolish, foolish. Alright. <laughs> uh, I can see it because um I glow currently. Oh right, because yeah, you've got um slime all over you. I got I'm covered in slime. Running my powder punch. Let's uh, take fourteen points of damage, idiot. All right. How do you finish this idiot off? Oh, I punch him in the mask, and I just I just d dissipate him into dust. It's really cool. Oh shit! No, my turn's not done. Okay. <laughs> I, I use my uh. Oh shit! I have a lot of actions actually. I use my. I go over here and I look for the dog. That's my turn. <laughs> That's it. I thought I had another punch attack, but I. Okay. Really um. Cool. Is everyone alive then? Yeah. I, no I hope no so. one's dying. No one's poisoned. Hurting. I'm going to be right back. All right. With that, the battle will end.
All right. As you uh, walk past it, your foot kicks the piece of metal, and it barely moves. It it's I unusually dense. Toe. Yeah, it's unusually dense for such a small piece of metal. I'll, I'll pick it up. Oh, okay. As you do, oh <laughs> <laughs> um, you think you see what like maybe black worms or leeches um squirming on the surface and then you realize that they're just runes that have been cut into it at such harsh and precise angles as to create undulating shadows within the crevices of their uh carvings this is that sounds cool too magic shit make a recall knowledge okay i will add it to your uh sheet actually oh shit um and then i'll unusual object i see i see uh there you go crafting oh i'm kind of good at that actually i bring it over to grom so we nerds can look at it okay the two of you identify it and you realize that it is a rune stone. Check. Yes, but you know, rune, rune stones go into items to make them better. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a, yeah. it's a, oh, I see. It's a, it's a fun. It's a, not a fundamental. It's one of those funny runes. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'll read it out loud to the class. This weapon performs divination magic on the blood of your foes, granting you the insight into their abilities and weaknesses. And it's activated for free, once per minute. Uh, on the, and the requirements are, on your previous action this turn, you use this weapon to hit the damage, to hit and damage a creature that has blood or vital fluids. Uh, the effect, you know what, I could just make it a chat. Um... Doing the secret to the weapon, getting the creature's blood, and the recall knowledge of the target of the required attack. Again, knowledge for skill equal weapons item bonus. Ooh, this is cool. So it's like a yeah, pre recall so it, knowledge. Once per fight, essentially, because every minute, once per fight, uh, plus two, or sorry, plus one, plus two, um, uh, recall knowledge, yeah. Oh, and get a plus two was a critical hit as well. That's cool. Yeah, it takes into account your bon uh, your potency rune, but you'll notice that potency rune bonus is an item bonus. And then, so if you have a critical oh. hit, you get a plus two circumstance plus whatever the potency rune is providing on top of your um, recall all check. That's very cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. I think the only one who uses like a weapon like this is uh, Jet and Henry. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, what uh, do you mean? Well, those runes can go on any any weapon. Yeah. Oh, we give it to Kelly. That's a good point, actually. Mm -hmm. Kelly has a gun. He's yeah, that would help my recall gun. knowledge stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so these kind of these kind of runes. Like, as your weapons get their primary runes, fundamental runes, mm -hmm. it it will unlock additional slots for these fun quote unquote fun, funny, yeah. funny, yeah, funny, 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 funny little runes. I don't know what they're called. They're something. Yeah. The property runes. Property, property runes. runes. That sounds pretty good. That <laughs> sounds like a, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. All right. Good All right. Time. Did we find out anything? Yeah, we got a cool rune that helps us recall knowledge. Cool. Is your hound dead? No. Is it gone? It's not Is dead. It... But will it continue to bother us? Yeah, will it continue to bother I us? I don't know. know we can keep getting the lamps and then put it in a, a curved room to make it if it ever comes back. It might just sit around invisible if it's afraid of flat us. Yeah. Let's keep here, collecting all these. Here, doggy doggy. Come on out. <laughs> Oh, uh, did you do any healing? Oh, Grom's at wounded too. Uh, oh. Yeah, hang on. Let's not. 
Yeah, <laughs> the first thing we do is split up from ground. <laughs> oh, there's a nice house we can go in. There is a nice house. Let's go in the house. There we go. Free real estate, you know? All right. I think it doesn't really look good. like a house, though. If we were going to throw all the, the lamps anywhere, we should probably throw them in the back cave. I thought we were taking the lamps because they're worth money. Mm. Oh, right, right. Yeah. That. We we're going to sell them and not tell people that an evil hound is linked to them. I'm sure this won't go wrong in any way. I'm sure us traveling, you know, with these things. Well, if we keep it in the bag of holding, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll start so doing Grom, as you, as you enter the cozy cabin, um, the the warm fire, theater of the mind, burning in the hearth, um, there's no longer a, a sarcophagus here, obviously, because that's been moved. So this is actually a nice, nice couch. And you feel so tired. The, the couch is almost calling out to you. If you could just close your eyes for a few minutes. Don't close your eyes, Rob. That's how you die. <laughs> is there a couch here? Where did the couch come from? It's part of the house you guys made. Oh. I'll lay down on the couch while we figure out what we're going to do next. The house okay. that we made. I don't know if it's we made the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you as you lay down on the couch, you find yourself drawn into slumber immediately. Rob, no. Uh, I told him not to close his eyes. <laughs> I'm so tired, though. Your eyes open immediately, and you are in a white room. Everything is white. So white that the floor and the ceiling blend into one solid white color. Everything is illuminated by a big white uh, LED that you can't see. And you stand in the middle of all of this infinite whiteness. Um, just you and Pepito. I think we died, Pepito. They didn't get to us in time. Pepito nods. And hugs you. It's not what I was expecting, though. I was going to heal him. You hear a voice. Somewhat tinny. Um, somewhat feminine. And it says, Grom, you have done well in upholding not only my teachings and ideals, but in Maintaining your faith and courage in the face of horrors beyond what mortals should ever have to face. Is that, is that you, Bri? It is. I am using the white room because... You are not strong enough to look upon me without dying instantly. Thank but I wanted to speak with you. You have cleansed a holy place dedicated to me. And for that, you and your allies shall be rewarded. You don't need to reward us. We do it because it's the right thing to do. Oh, sweet. All right. I won't. Well, it was good to talk to you, Grom. Go forth <laughs> into the world and continue to be my champion. I will watch over you, for I have a feeling that you are fated for something more. Well, thank you. I hope I'm doing everything the right way. No, you're doing great. Keep a close eye. Sweep up. I oh, have well. big plans for him. That's what I thought. As he long as you protect power. Sweep up, I will protect you. Okay. But Thank not you. very well, so make sure you always have your pickles. Okay. I'll make them up as soon as I can. Great job. All right, and then you your eyes open again, and you you feel well. He's rested. dead. I told him uh, not to close his eyes. <laughs> you are you are at full health, and all of your status effects are gone. Wow, 
hell is a heck of a nap, guys. Oh, Grom, you're alive. I was just digging a hole for you. How wonderful. I'm glad you're back up. I had the most amazing experience again. You wouldn't believe it, though, because you're all non-believers. All right. Well, <laughs> hurtful, uh, but... Uh, that's kind of mean. <laughs> you, you, I mean, you can tell us, though. Or you can tell us. I'm trying to remember this yeah, voice. We're, we're your right. friends. You can confide in us. I was, how long was I gone? Was it like hours or what? Like three seconds. Wow. Bride, <laughs> bride, bride came to me and uh, she she said that I was doing well and I should protect Sweep Up. And, um, uh, she said something about a reward, but I told her, you know, we just did this because we want to do the right thing. We didn't have to worry wait, about a reward. She, she mentioned what? Wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> you, Henry. Oh, 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 uh, go back. Go, go back. <laughs> I, don't I mean, normally we don't allow PvP, but does anybody try to knock Grom out? To... Uh, <laughs> uh, heavily considering it, but that's the player. I don't think Henry would. Henry looks at Grom and says, and it hurts Scott's soul, but he says, ah, honestly, you probably did the right thing. Oh, <sighs> Henry, I'm sorry. I should have asked her to help you, too. Uh, being a skeleton, but you yeah, know. this wild magic surge could end at any time. That would have been great. <laughs> 18 points of healing to Jet Re and Jericho. I mean, can you like take another nap real quick? Like power nap. You got a, <laughs> you got any that that knife will? Just like chug some. You'll be out in like five minutes. I'll try. I lay down again. All right. I'll, I'll sing you a song of my people. I, I, what you don't understand is so this is this is called the surge. See, he was really hurt and tired before. Now he has all this energy. I think I think he's close. <laughs> we should stay near him. Yeah. Okay. But let's let's see if he can get back to sleep, Negron. All right. Sorry you hear you hear coming around the corner, uh, footsteps approaching. Where's the where's the, that's, that's, that's that the dog? You, you hear Kosawana <laughs> say, <laughs> uh, "Hold on a second. Okay. You hear you hear Kosawana say, "It was the strangest thing. I nodded off for just a moment, and then I heard." Her voice. Perhaps it was a hallucination, but I believe your friends were successful. I think that the evil has been banished from this temple. And you hear Vashon say, "And what? What did she give you for doing that?" And he says, "Oh, a great and divine boon. But it is no matter. Do not worry. I will use my skills to reassemble my Sphinx, that I can get us all out of here. Tell your allies." This place is safe. It is under Bry's divine protection. I'm here sitting, standing at the, the entrance of this house. Like, what are you doing out? There's a dog out. You don't know what the dog is. There's a damn dog. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my damn dog. What are you doing down here? No, Va Vashon says, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Alamon says uh, he had some kind of religious vision and that uh, this place is on the up and up now. That's what I was told too. Oh, there you go. Second opinion. Killed it, or drove it away, or something. The hound. Which one of you killed it? I no one killed it. It's still out and about. I was in the other room. I mean, we walked all the way over here from the uh, central chamber, and we didn't get jumped uh, by nothing. Yeah, I definitely killed it, hundred percent. Oh dang! I'm Great job, saying, Jericho. Yeah, bro, bro, can I have my boon? I did it. Please? Yeah, tell you what, Jericho, you add uh, killing Eldritch cars to your uh, chain linked in, and I'll endorse it. All right. Hell yeah. All right. No one else say anything about it, though. Those who were witnesses. Just all right, well, Olamon's pretty convinced he's got some kind of, you know, he's some, some kind of, uh, it's like his faith is uh, less shattered than it was before. He's going around gathering up all kinds of junk, trying to it is cat working or whatever. Now nah, here's the thing: Do we really want to trust? Do we want to trust this magic robot cat to fly us all the way back to the airship? I mean, that seems like we're going to run on a lot of wild surges. Might be better if we just walk through the desert again. You wanna, you wanna walk through the fucking desert? No. <laughs> the... You wanna, you wanna risk wild magic surge? I am not walking through that two-day desert fucking desert when I know it's going to take me eight days. Time does not work in that desert. There's something wrong with that desert. We'll probably have surges anyways, even if we walked. 
All right, fair point. Fair point. Well, the whole entire time I asked, how many days? Two days. I was like, two days? It's two days. And it just, it's never stopped being two days. It well, I mean, st- uh, I mean, we were lost a lot, so I mean, it makes sense. I'm going to go get the rest of these lights because they're worth money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go get them, Henry. <laughs> Henry would like to go around and collect all the remaining lights. <laughs> all the remaining lights? Okay. Uh, you don't even have to move your mini. I'll just start counting them up. So. All right, thank you. Did we did we do a final tally last session, or did we leave off in the middle of like a a very dangerous, spicy situation? We were get, trying to grab the one in the room with the shadow monsters, uh-huh. uh, and then that's when we got into the fight. Oh, that one so got shot. Spicy. Yeah, the one in that room got shot for sure. Uh, right. I, re- I remember that. I remember that. All right, it says see, I have my tally marks here that you're up to ten of these lights. Uh, that sounds right. Uh, uh, right. So let me see, eleven, twelve. 13. I mean, Grom, are you okay with them robbing this uh, restored holy site? Uh, yeah. 12. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 16. They, I, I, I guess I screwed up by not getting so rewards for them, so if they want to get it. I mean, I mean, are we, are we robbing from this holy they site? Strip, they want to strip the <laughs> copper out of Bry's temple. To- <laughs> like, well, we're, we're doing a service to Bry. Yeah, yeah. like, if if this thing can teleport in by lamps, and we take all the lamps, it can't teleport back in. Hey, right. hey gang, can we have a hero huddle without Henry as he's going around getting all the lights? Um, all right. How do we like express to him that he probably is a skeleton forever? How are we gonna break it to him? Like, should we like? Do you have a mirror? Well, I think he knows he's a skeleton. He just is under the impression it's going to wear off at any time. Like, how do we well, mentally prepare our that. friend for this? Do you, do you have any proof that it won't wear off? No. Oh, so it could wear off. I, I mean, you're right. I mean, we could walk out of this temple and the magic hold and him together could just cease to exist and then he'll literally die. I mean, yeah, there's that. That's a terrible way to think about it. I mean, I feel like we should prepare, us, prepare ourselves emotionally, maybe Henry emotionally, for any outcome that may happen. I think I think we should prepare him for that. Yeah, but you don't know if it'll wear off. It could wear off, or he could like get reincarnated. Does you he know, carry this, around his skin? Like, where is his skin? I don't know. I don't. I try not to look his way now. Yeah. Oh, well, that's <laughs> all right. Well. Well, I mean, God when you have damn. like when you're just like hearing your guts and stuff i kind of don't want to look at that all right well you will so you're properly clothed you don't you're not carrying your stomach and your you know where it shouldn't be and your liver isn't where where it shouldn't be and you know like thanks for reminding me that i at one point had those had those things yes i used to carry around me in a bag but it kind of got smelly after a while Okay, Henry, I added three unusual scrolls that you found and one unusual liquid as you were making your way around. Thank you. Uh, Henry actually started with one ever-burning torch, so should that be 34? You had had nine on your sheet. I had 24 more to it. Oh, okay. I I just had what I had. I don't know. I was just making sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I added 24 manually to the nine you already had. Okay. Let's go see what Coastal Mons do. All right. Let's go. Let's go watch him work on his Sphinx. We can laugh at him because he's a nerd. <laughs> Rob, check on Sweet Pup, make sure he's okay. We get unpause. Oh, Henry, I am gonna need you to give me a fortitude save because you ran into something nasty while you were off. Um... I think you'll be fine. He's dead again. I am. Ah. All right. Uh, oh, you do find 150 gold worth of gemstones as you are going around collecting lights. I'll throw those onto your sheet. Bry provides. Bry <laughs> Bry provides. All right. Then I think. Oh. You find a room with these things, but they are dead. Oh, like, Jesus like, Christ. 
That yeah. was gonna be a close the door oh, situation. Oh uh, no no no! Jesus. With the defeat with the defeat of the uh, of the t uh, the claws of time, and the um, abandoned uh, acolytes or sorry abandoned zealots, um, the sway of evil uh, in this in this place has diminished. Fair enough. Uh, Henry just loots them, then. I wanted to fight that. I want to fight that. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. I don't want to fight that. Look at it. Look at his, look at his wrist throw backwards. Uh, yeah, they're pretty... It's pretty dope, honestly. Um, Can't you put your wrist on backwards? It's a, it's a, it's basically... It's basically a, a monk mummy. That's so cool. Yeah. Ah, oh, that third oh. edition mummy template on a, on a monk. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They used to love that in the first edition Pathfinder Adventures. I don't think you could get through a single one without running into a mummy monk. I'll tell you. Um, okay, and I think you that would be it. I think you'd have it all. Mm. Whenever Henry returns, just so everybody's aware, he keeps his flesh inside of the spacious pouch. Oh, so. good. And he is wearing his armor and everything. Uh, but he shows... Oh, well, I got the I got these uh, scrolls and this unusual liquid. I don't know how to decipher any of this, so there you guys go. And he just dumps it like oh. next to Grom or something. Um, I can't, you know, ask us to, you know, decipher them. So. Oh, okay. Where's your mini go? Uh, here, I'll uh, just gra grab you. Still this room. Here. Uh, oh, we're okay. paused. I can't go. Anywhere. Oh, oh, this was just theater of the minding it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, so post skills for that. Post uh, skills for this. Unless well, it's scrolls, so it's probably gonna use for firewood. And we got I got another scroll for you to identify if you're into that shit. And then there's a uh, unusual liquid. It's all magic. What the heck? Alright, so Jericho, you figure out the first and second scroll and the bottle. If anybody right. wants to try the second scroll, they can. God damn. Yeah, alright, uh, you got all of them. Uh, so, identify item. It is a, a scroll of Curse of Lost Time. It is a scroll of Day's Wait. Spelled with a E I G H T, and then a scroll of time jump, and then the liquid is bottled omen. Look at that shit. This potion holds a tiny wrapped scroll and tastes like paper. Upon drinking it, you gain a burst of insight into your immediate future uh, and how to potentially avoid it. When you attempt a saving throw, you roll twice and use the better result. Mm -hmm. The potion's magic ends when you make use of the effect, or after one minute, then you become immune to bottled omen potions for 24 hours. Very fun. Oh, interesting. Time jump is pretty cool. Yeah, time jump's a lot of fun. Can any of us actually cast these scrolls? I don't think any of us can. Oh no. Yeah, mm. none of us it's can. Sell them. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here going, oh, we could even split these up. Like, no, we could actually cast these, huh? It's that stuff. All right. Well, yeah, we could sell them. Oh, do you think we could sell them to the Bride Temple for, like, some artifact goodness, you know? Like, that kind of, that kind of deal? Oh, if they asked us where they got it, do we have to tell them we got it from a bride temple out here in the middle of the fucking waste, and then have them come here and start this all over again? Uh, well, you know, it's yeah. that's not our problem. That's their problem. We like we ain't coming back yet. Yeah, yeah side adventure. I'm gonna. I want to go see what I want to see him build his sphinx. I'm gonna look over at Woodshop. Hmm. He's still here. Yeah, why would he be? <laughs> how, yeah. how have we lost like three NPCs <laughs> in Woodshop? <laughs> Woodshop is still here. Basically... 
He stays out of the way, that's yeah. why. <laughs> He's got a good survival instinct, I'll give him that. He knows when to run away. <laughs> Never seen Woodchop run run away. He he runs away at like three hundred feet per per turn. He's a monk, I gotcha. All right, uh, you guys arrive just in time to see Kosawana put the faceplate back onto his Clockwork Sphinx, and as he does, its little heart gyros begin going, and uh, it powers back on. Remember how the outside was weird? Is yeah, it's it weird out there. You think it's weird? Uh, don't don't be opening that door. I'm not ready for doors to be opened right now. Well, you guys lock the doors, right? <laughs> Yeah. We, yeah, we did lock the doors. Yeah. All right. Well, we gotta eventually leave someday, Jit. We gotta. I mean, we might as. Yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well, well, right? Are we ready? Is everybody ready? I mean, ready as I think we'll be. All right. I'm gonna come to the door. Okay. Uh, Kosawana explains to you that his Sphinx is going to use a modif modified airlift spell. Mm -hmm. Um, so a massive rush of wind lifts, briefly carrying you and everything around you to a nearby destination. Um, you and each creature in the area and each item of 10 bulk or lighter are lifted by this powerful gale. You and all affected, uh, creatures and objects, uh, can fly up to 60 feet and land on solid ground, which is great. Um, this airlift will... Essentially, as long as he is uh, concentrating on it and sustaining it, uh, while he and the Sphinx are uh, concentrating and sustaining it, he can sort of levitate you guys under the Sphinx. So you, your, your lives are completely dependent on the Sphinx and Kosawana maintaining their concentration and uh, their action economy to sustain this effect to airlift you guys through this spell scar desert. If you don't think I'm tying a fucking rope to myself, and that's <laughs> it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna come up to the door. I'm gonna come up to the door. I'm gonna take out my brass ear. And I'm gonna I'm gonna listen listen to to the door to to see if we hear any of those uh uh chick chicken giant sounds? chickens. Yeah. You hear Oh no let me see the uh that seek action. Secret seek action. So. What the barrier would normally increase. The DC increases by only half. Wow. And then. It's got to be secret, bro. Oh. Secret. I'm sorry. No worries. There. Secret. You don't hear anything except All right, we're good. the ocean. Because, you know, the sort of hollow, echoey sound of the uh, the brass here. All right. I will now try to unlock the door. Okay. So it beeps towards. Uh, I mean, you guys are out of combat. It's fine. You unlock it. Right. It is dark out. You go first, Jit. You open the door. You know, I go first. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little, a little dark you out. You go first. <laughs> I don't know. Jesus, really... fine, I'll go. You should do the other Oh, I, I should also mention that it's dark as hell now, right? Because you guys have taken all the lighting from the whole yeah. dungeon. <laughs> okay. Oh, Henry, this is wonderful. Uh, There's leftovers. <laughs> I'm going back uh, in. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Henry goes over and, put, and attaches his dino bone to himself. <laughs> nice. These bones, they would definitely be a beefier upgrade to your wimpy uh, Henry bones. There's a there's a sort of instinctual um, kind of knowledge that, like, you would have to overcome your disbelief of being a skeleton, though, to truly uh, embrace this. Uh, you could have a Megatron arm. Mm, 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 mm. That's tempting for the player. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. The problem is, I just. I, I think Henry needs to disbelieve it for now. That's yeah, that's fine. Him. That's fine. Uh, he will. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of kick-ass petrified dinosaur bones back in town. You know, like. Uh, all right. 
Well, Alright, the Sphinx the, road. the Sphinx comes out here. It doesn't seem to bear you any ill will after your um rough and tumble battle inside. Um as everyone is leaving Grom, uh you realize that there's no sweep up. What? Wait. Wait, don't go yet. Where is he? Is that him right there? Yes, you you see two dim eye lights staring out. He sits on the throne. What are you doing there? Sweep up. He seems to be completely deactivated. Just a light flicker in his eyes. I will do a recall knowledge to try and figure out what the hell is going on with Sweep Door sure. right now. Don't take it um, away from us, please. With your recall knowledge, you think that he is communing with the otherworldly entity. Okay, well, we need to wait here until he's done. Uh, wait. Uh, all right, okay. Um, can we do anything to help? No, I think, I think he's having a, a moment with Bry. Oh, he's going to... Oh. He'll ask for the reward for us. He's got us. Hmm. Yeah, he 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 knows how much we like treasure. So his his eye sense. his eye lights uh flicker brighter, and then he uh he looks around and starts to move, and he says, "Uh, Grom, yes. robots cannot dream, but I had a dream." What did you dream about? There was a lady with a metal mask. She told me. As long as I protect you, she will protect me. But not very well, so I should start eating pickles. That's what she told me, too. I guess we got to protect each other, buddy. And also stay in there like Henry and Derek. He, re he reaches yeah. out and holds your hand. I'll hold his hand, too. Ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Wait, sweep up, sweep up. Did did she mention anything about reward? Anything? She did, but I remembered that Grom said he did not take a reward, so I said we would not need one either. Uh... So if this happens again, maybe just mention <laughs> that we don't need a reward, but maybe Henry could get like his bones or you know his muscles. Oh, but that's okay. He'll. I mean, I'm sure there, there will be another time for us to talk to God and ask for something. Probably so. At least you. Sure. I have big plans for you. She said she had big plans for you. I don't know, Jericho. I feel like we're getting ripped off of this dungeon. I hate fucking <laughs> God <laughs> so much. <laughs> you, got all gems and stuff. <laughs> you got gems and you got a bunch of magical lights. You're rich. <laughs> Wait, you literally can... like re huh? you literally look like you robbed a lamp store. <laughs> <laughs> we could have had maybe like Welcome a cool to the magical lamp store. store. Uh, she could have given us, like, you guys inside. get back to Alcazar, you just throw a blanket out on a street corner, you just lay all your lamps out. You put a sign up that says definitely not cursed. <laughs> like something straight out of Aladdin. <laughs> So before, uh, as you go to tie yourself to the Clockwork Sphinx, uh, Olaman says, uh, what are you doing? You're going to mess up her calibrations. You cannot tie a rope around her. You must tie, let, let me tie a rope around you. Around me? Yeah. That seems excessive. Why do you not tie it around the uh, fashion? Well... <laughs> Tie it around this fight, uh, this bird. He will fly it if he falls. No sense. It needs to be one to you. I can't fly. Sorry. Does that mean and your says, bones aren't hollow? Uh, he gives you a look and he says, "Uh, not all of them." Wink. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I was just asking in case you, it means, you died. It means the penis bone. Oh, the penis bone. I should have known. Damn. There you go. Street Pup says, the penis does not have bones. It is just blood vessels. That's right. You're a smart little man. 
He's the so new window. I don't have a penis, but I'd like one. Maybe when you're older. Then I could pretend to pee on things. Mm -hmm. You can have oil come out of it and everything. You can pee on the side of buildings. Mi of Mr. Gattleby know. pees on everything. I know he does. Yeah. He, he says it's important to mark your territory. I don't think you should listen to him. Listen to Grom. Don't listen to Vashon. Grom, is it important to mark your territory? No, it's not. Not really. It's, oh. it's bad. Don't go around. If you ever get <laughs> one of those things and you can go around peeing on things, don't do it. When I get a penis, I will not pee on everything to mark my territory. <laughs> Only the things that matter the most. I like her own. Vashon gives him a, gives him a, a finger guns and a nod, like this kid gets it. <laughs> and he puts his arms out to the sides in a T pose, waiting for the uh, the wind walk spell or whatever uh, airlift uh, to be cast. Creepup is like gonna be a messed up. Adult robot <laughs> because of all of us. All I know is if I die, I know that you can come back as a ghost in this place. It's true. You can come back as skeleton. <laughs> well, that was before you guys purged it of the evil. Remember, oh, uh, no, undead, no, undead no. are evil in this. In uh, no, no, there's a ghost out there right now that was no near, nowhere near this <laughs> temple. I, I know that here in the desert, you can come as a, a vengeful ghost. <laughs> Oh, that ghost. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, oh, oh you are you just subtly bringing that up to Kosawana in case he drops you? <laughs> yes. I will come back as a ghost. He says, uh, I am not worried. I know many techniques for dealing with spirits. All right. Did, did Let's go. Do we collect those airship parts in there already? Yeah. Yes, they are all inside my Sphinx. Uh, I stuffed them all inside my Sphinx. Uh, Henry, you should go and do that lot. Jack and Rose thing, Vasha. He's begging for it up there. The thing with the ti t Titanic or whatever it's called, one of those. Uh, yeah, the Titanium. All right, yeah. and he grabs, he grabs Vashon. Vashon, <laughs> Vashon jumps a, a little bit. It says, "Ah, hey, whoa, 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 Jer Jericho! Oh, oh, you're not Jericho. Hey, oh. hold, <laughs> hold me tight, time to dance." Uh, Henry does. All right, <laughs> then uh, you guys get ready to blast off again. Uh, let's see. Do we have flight? I want to see if we can get flight up in here. Um, I miss like our animated token effects. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. We did have some good ones. We had some good ones. Token magic portfolio. Do we have flying still? I feel like it's kind of like not letting me have my D and D ones because they're D and D ones, which feels a little shitty on their part to like segregate my tokens. Oh, There's wow. like a drop shadow. We got that. Yeah, but I mean, I have like a really nice like flight effect. I'm gonna try to, you know what? I'll put it on my prep list. I'm gonna try to get that in here. Uh... All right, so you guys all take flight. Not that um, fly again, but you know. You fly through the night. Um, Olamon Kosawana shows you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Um, and Are you going to roll on the wild magic table? Oh, if you, I was going to spare you guys, but okay. No, no, it's, oh. it's, no, listen, we're, we're in it. Oh, no. Hey, we're listen, okay. okay. Olamon Kosawana looks at you and says, I know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. and, yeah, and then you you guys, uh, you fly, uh... I think we should give him a B-team badge. I'm just gonna say it. I think we have a few yeah. spares. We should just give it to him, you know? Alright. He flies you to a place you definitely want to be. That place is the player dashboard. Alright. Um, in ship. this in the span of eight fucking hours, um, which is a long time when you're magically suspended hundreds of feet above the desert... Uh, at night, um, he flies you the quote-unquote two-day journey uh, back to the airship wreckage. As he's flying, as he's flying you there, as he's <laughs> as he's flying you there, you do get a cutscene. Oh. Goddamn Manticore. It's, it's it's literally the Manticore, and he's just sitting in his easy chair. 
Um, and that's the that's the whole cutscene. Now let me let me grab the actual cutscene for you. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? Searching the spell scar. Finish that one. Cutscene should be read at the conclusion of the Cradle of Quartz dungeon. Okay. So as you fly through the night, and the second star towards morning, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all that crap, um, this scene plays out in the meta part of your minds. So your characters have no idea, but your players do, and you have to live with that. Uh, debts and dangers. The scene is an opulent meeting room at night. The room is richly adorned with gold leaf accents and electric chandeliers casting a soft glow. The atmosphere is luxurious, yet an underlying tension hangs in the air. Mugland, in his striking blue suit, sporting his prominent mustache, freshly groomed and oiled, sits across from Sabora Charcoza, her presence commanding with her tall stature, dark skin, short platinum hair, sharp teeth, and gold-adorned attire. Muglin nervously adjusting his tie. Sabora, you know I'm good for it. The gold will be yours. Every last coin. Sabora unimpressed, leans back, her gaze sharp like her teeth, her eyes calculating. Raising an eyebrow, she says, I've heard promises before, Muglin. They don't fill coffers or pay my crew. Muglin, leaning in, eager to convince her, but I have something. Something that will change the game for the Gilded Gunners. Pyronites. A test run on the right target could have us swimming in gold. Sabora's interest seems piqued, but her expression remains guarded. She slides a cold glass of spiced cola towards Mugland with a glint in her eye. Enjoy the drink, Muglin. Make yourself comfortable. Pyronite, you say? Word on the street was you let it slip through your fat little fingers twice already. Muglin, desperate to seal the deal, takes a hesitant sip of the cola, the spices tingling his senses. His mustache bristles. Well, <clears throat> sometimes you have to play a few hands before you win big, Sabora. I was working many angles, hence the heavy investments and funding I required, which you so graciously assisted with. But as always, payday. A payday I am eager to share with friends. So, do we have a deal? Sabora smiles, but with a dangerous edge. I like the idea, but let's get one thing straight. You're not going anywhere until I have my gold. Muglin nods, understanding the gravity of the situation. The room, with all its opulence, suddenly feels like a gilded cage. Sabora leaning forward, her eyes almost completely black, gleam with the golden tinged light that effuses the room choose your target wisely Mugland this could be the beginning of a prosperous partnership or your opportunity to become a high profile example to others Muglin swallowing hard hey, you have my word Sabora you, you won't regret this Sabora chuckles softly. <laughs> For your sake, I hope not. They share a look, a mix of anticipation and danger, as the steam-powered clock ticks ominously in the background before the steam whistle cuckoo screams the hour.
and then you guys land at the uh, at the airship site. Well, that was a very uneventful uh, flight. Thank God. Of course, it was uneventful. I was navigating. I avoided all dangers, weather effects, and unusual wind patterns. It is Thanks. exceedingly simple. You see, you you talk like Vashon does, but I want to bully you less. So, like, you know what? You did a good job, Kosawana. I don't need your praise. I know I do a good job. I think it's uh, it's good to hear it sometimes, buddy. It's unnecessary. All right. Does he truly feel like that? I do. <laughs> I, think, yeah, I think he's running his ride. I think he's still in the room. <laughs> All right. Uh, Farah approaches. And she says, uh, Well, holy shit. You made it. You found him. And the parts? In the uh, before before you guys could answer, Kosawana cuts you off and says, In the Sphinx. All right, Kosawana. I'm, I'm going to want to start bowling you pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, <it's been> nice. <laughs> you see the glow of main character start to kind of shine around him. So, uh, She turns and says, uh, I've heard of your work, but I didn't know you were going to be so handsome. And Kosawana says, I am a very handsome male specimen, it is true. But it is secondary to my mind and my drive for excellence. Here, Captain Winslow. All of the parts I have brought, as well as the components of my Sphinx, are yours as a reward for saving my life. Whatever you need, you have it. I will assist in whatever way I can to get your ship back up and running. Uh, she blushes and says, uh, oh, well, why don't we take a look then? Uh, I, I, I do a little aside. I was like, what happens? He's so different from when he was uh, really, really hungry inside the, the orb. <laughs> Sometimes you just eat a Snickers, you know? Oh, Vashon says that's because he got the blessing of Bri. <sighs> Man, anytime one of the gods of Galarian bothers to give you a blessing, you just fucking amazing afterwards oh. uh, I wonder how that would feel beats me out listen I don't want to be no fucking sellout so I'm my own man even if it means having a couple of hemorrhoids and you know disguise you are, you, are, you are a sellout why am I a sellout just because I'm working for the government my only other option was to fucking die I'm pretty sure you sold me out at one point and took all the power net for yourself I was trying to protect you. No, you weren't. There's a lot. Yeah, I was. There's a lot of dangerous people after Power Night. And then you went and got yourself a, a wanted poster and you were on the on the lam. I just want to make sure that you were distant mm -hmm. from the project. Mm -hmm. I in wonder case why it I was on the lam. I wonder why that happened. I think you, it was you're, a short, you're in it was a short man in a blue suit. <laughs> Ain't you been you're paying here. attention? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Are you now? After everything, after everything that's happened, now you're going to levy allegations that I set you up so I could have power night to myself? I believe that is what happened, Sean. What? Do you really believe that? Yes, I, I do, actually, yeah. I'm hurt. Wow. Uh, and he and he walks away. Yeah, I'm not taking any pity from him. I ain't giving him no sympathy. Uh, you hear heavy breathing oh. in your ear hole. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of... What? It seems like your friend is upset with you. Yeah, he can go... Friends are really corner. important. You're just gonna let him walk away? Uh, wait a minute. I'm not the aggressor here. He... I'm, I'm the victim here. I'm, oh my god. I'm not feeling bad for this. He sold me out for muggling, for money, and he ain't making me feel bad about it. Oh. That's a bad friend. Yeah. Why have you why have you been putting up with him? Because he's a VIP or I himself. Oh. 
My friend Jet would never sell me out. Yeah, because Jet's a good friend, would you? And I wouldn't sell him out either. Even when he was working undercover with the Gilded Gunners, and I was in a real bad financial bind, and they were asking me if I knew where he was, I didn't tell him anybody that he was undercover with the Gilded Gunners, even in exchange for a large sum of money that I could then give my cactus girlfriend. Did you rat Jet out? What? Did you rat how, him out? How... How dare you, ma'am? And he walks away. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, all right. Everyone in this... Some you, you, feel, you, feel some, you feel some breathing in your, in your ear hole. <laughs> um, Hello. <laughs> oh, it seems God. that uh, Jericho Darling is not so good at keeping friends. A pity. I heard from some magical horses that it's the most powerful magic in the multiverse. Are you in my in my head? Or are you are you haunting me? What's happening? There he's, he's gone. I don't know what's happening. All right, I'm gonna hang out with Grom. Grom makes sense. You gotta go kill That's kill great. Fossa. You gotta go. Make her blood splatter down there. Hmm? You gotta move oh, Fossa she, down there. She didn't, she she didn't die. Oh, she you guys set. Dead? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you set. her. You set her loose in the in the mana ways. Yeah, where where she's at home. Like honestly, this is the best thing for her. I mean. she was dead. <laughs> Let her go. <laughs> she she was she was the backup character until Skills and Henry came about. <laughs> Mut mutant barbarian Fossa. <laughs> Oh man! Oh yeah, we forgot about us. <laughs> I, I no, we did was Dead. I thought we she was it. dead. I I was convinced. Oh well. I'm convinced we forgot about it. Uh, Kelly, I could be wrong, but I think that everybody's kind of losing it. I think I think this dungeon really really is messed with us. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. How long is this going to take to fix up Kosuana since you're so smart? Um, I'm actually going to have a suggestion for Kosawan to see if they can integrate that uh, Sinks' guidance system into the uh, hull of the ship, you know? We're gonna if we can avoid all those things. Now. What are we going to do now? We're going to head back to Alchemstar, but kosawan has got the, six, the Sphinx, and if Kelly's right, and he can probably put the guidance system into the ship, he'll probably be back lickety-split. Aesthetically, I'm just thinking really cool. Like the Sphinx is turned into the uh, the per the figurehead on the front of the ship. That will be pretty cool. Kosawana, do it. Oh, uh, you 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 wander all the way over to the uh, airship repair site to tell him to do it. <laughs> I I motioned for Kelly to come with me so he can explain. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, he says, well, the amount of parts that they need. It is unlikely I will be able to afford to build the Sphinx again anytime soon. So keeping any amount of the Sphinx, it is unnecessary. Uh, if you don't think it would be too tacky, uh, and then Farrah Winslow, who seems a bit smitten, <laughs> per the fucking adventure, by the way. Um, Are you guess, sure, Farrah? <laughs> Because I guess all because I guess all of Kosawana wrote this part of the adventure. Um, <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> that's just a blessing from Bry. He gets the right part of the adventure. <laughs> She's like, "Who's your blessing?" He's like, "I would like a girlfriend." Uh. Oh, that's such a that's such a human thing to do. <laughs> you know, after being a horrible father and abandoning his child, he gets the girlfriend and the blessing and all the fun stuff. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he, he is a 1980s action hero. <laughs> she uh she blushes and says uh uh I I'd be I'd be honored. Uh proceed. Uh Vashon looks at all of you but doesn't make eye contact with Jericho darling and says uh I'm thinking we're going to have this thing up and running uh, by tomorrow morning. So you can all just sit tight. 
make sure we don't get jumped by no uh, smog giants or sandworms or repeat of performance from M Manticore. Apparently, uh, Zenny over there, she saw a uh, couple of uh, abyssal sand drakes uh, casing the joint, so hopefully they don't come and attack us, but uh, it should guys, be all right. Did you guys hear that? I think I heard the wind blowing somewhere. <laughs> Damn. Grow up. Will you two get a room? Jesus. Jesus. Uh, Vashon Cooley uh, lights a fresh uh, cigarette and says, uh, yeah, it's an ill win, that's for sure. It's going to be uh, hopefully in our favor taking us back to Ankenstein. I can't help but think that all of this was for nothing. I mean... Alamon's my friend and all, and I'm glad he's safe, but uh, the way he described our hard work it makes me kind of embarrassed. Like, I thought we had made something great, but if it's as exceedingly simple as he claims, well, all I did was put on a big fucking show, let everybody know that it was the thing that you could do. All them hours we burnt, all them resources, funding, for what? To guide the way to mutually assured destruction? Well, no one else has it, right? Just Kosawana. I don't know, we've been gone for, what, two weeks? A lot happens in Alkestar in two weeks. I don't know what we're going to be returning to, if I'm being honest. But I'm, uh, I'm scared. You're scared? It's yeah. It's a different kind of fear than I felt when we was facing down that Eldritch Horror from Beyond Imagination. After a while, that thing was more obnoxious than scary. Now, thinking about a world where... Something that destructive and powerful just falls into anybody's hands. I feel like, in a way, we've changed the world in a way it can't ever go back, you know? I mean, that's a dream, right? Every inventor, every alchemist, every creative, you want to make something that changes everything. But I don't know if we changed it in the right way. I mean, what did we expect to happen? when we made it in the first place. I don't know. I don't ever really think through <clears throat> when the when the ideas take hold of you, you know? You only see what's in front of you. You just have to make it. It has to be realized. And then he then he looks at you in the eye sockets. And he says, was it different for you? Did you, did we build this because you wanted a weapon this powerful? Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm Why? Here. Why, Jericho? Because I wanted to hurt people. That hurt me. I mean, I feel different than now. But at the time... You know, I was angry, and I wanted to make something that could help me let go of that anger and hurt someone who deserved it. Well, if this... That's not if. When. When this thing gets... I don't know... When this thing leaves Alkenstein, when it gets out into the world, there's going to be a lot of people that felt the same way that you did. And now they're going to have a way to deal with all them people that made them feel bad. Well, I know. That's why there's a part of me that's scared, too. <sighs> well, hopefully Dunsmith 
been doing her goddamn job. We can't be the only VIP agents working for the government. They, we're going to get back to town. They're going to round it up Muglin. They're going to have some concrete evidence on that Loveless. And we're going to wrap this, this, this shit up. That's what's going to happen. Two weeks is a long time. Long enough for them to get all their shit in a box. You're pretty optimistic. I'm trying. Because if I get back and it's worse than when I left, I'm going to be real fucking mad. But would you be surprised? He blows out a long kind of raspberry, catches his cigarette as it flies out of his mouth, then puts it back in. It says, uh, not in the slightest. Well, let's, uh, let's put a tent up while we wait for Coast One to get his stuff worked out, eh? Nah. I, uh, I gotta go over there and not so much be a third wheel, but this is gonna be an all hands on deck. They're even gonna let Lucky Lanks work on shit tonight. Grom, do you know how to work on block work like this? Do I know how to do what? Work on machines like this. Right. Sweep up says, I read the manual for the airship 17 times on our trip. Yeah. Sweep up and I know all about it. I will assist. Yet another step towards manhood. Yep. Uh, he goes up and he says to Farrah Winslow, This is my father. Olaman Kosawana. He did not create me biologically, but instead he made me. Uh, Farrah looks at Kosawana and says, uh, you don't seem like the type that would have children. Uh, and Kosawana looks at her and says, I had never thought of myself as that sort of man before. But this creation, I can take no credit Hog Grom has guided him and protected him and will continue to do so. So, Henry, mm -hmm. Levi approaches you. Mm -hmm. uh, H Henry is obviously wearing all of his equipment and whatnot to make use of his <laughs> uh, this, where he looks like a person still. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so you're wearing your your skin? Uh, well, he's he's wearing he's got like full plate armor. So oh, he's, like, he's, like, okay. Suited, he's suited up. Uh, maybe maybe some of the skin, you know, just like around the eyes. So like when you Oof. look through the visor, it doesn't look. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Levi approaches and uh, he says, uh, "Uncle Henry, you you made it back. I, I can't believe it. Yep, every bone intact." My voice is low. That's back. good. I, I'm glad you didn't break any of your bones. Uh, I know it could be crazy out there, and not everybody made it, but I knew you would, because you said you would. You promised. Mm -hmm. uh, that promise is why I'm here. I, that's good. Um, he kind of opens his arms to come in and give you a hug. Uh, uh, su suited up, <laughs> Henry will give him the hug. Okay, <laughs> no clank, how weird clank, feels. clank. Yep. He says, oh, uncle, man, you smell terrible. Well, you got... we were multi-week journey, and there's no, no bathing. I mean... yeah, that's true. We haven't been able to bathe either. There's not enough water, she says. We're, we're on rations on everything. How, uh, so how did it go here? You guys are all still here. Well, I got my suspicions about the bartender. I think she's some kind of demon hunter, monster hunter, or something. Uh, she she, uh, she went out and killed a bunch of monsters and brought them back so everybody could have some food. Oh Jesus! Didn't didn't we spend like half like uh, like half of all the fights trying to protect her? Yeah, I think, yeah. I feel like she was maybe playing it close to the vest until she had to really, you know, get out of that comfort zone or something. But um, yeah, so uh, I I'll be honest, food uh, kind of made us all sick. No, well, that's not good. Uh, 
We can start eating scorpion, I think. That didn't work out so well. Mm. But, uh, I mean, uh, Zenny said nobody turned into a, a mutant, and so that seems good. Yeah. Uh, she said up. she was she said she was kind of surprised because she thought you know some of us would that made me not want to eat any more food that she brought yeah that's that's very fair we uh that's what happened to fossa that's why she's not with us uh we i know you two were close mm. um sorry about that it uh it happens uh, and what uh, happened to little dragon uh Little dragon found, uh, Roxy found their people. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Woodshop's still around. Yeah, I don't really like that guy much. Neither do I. <laughs> uh. But he, he's a survivor, so there's lessons to be learned. What do you think of that Kosawana fella? He's, uh, he's awfully confident. Yeah. Uh, I... It Guy's got it all. He's got the looks, got the brains, he's charming the ladies, knows how to fix an airship, makes a flying robot cat. Makes me think maybe maybe I'll try to go to college when we get back. You know, that's that's the lesson to take from this. Yes. I, I think that's a good path for you. He leans in and he whispers, he says, I don't think I want to be an airship captain. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to be on an airship either at this point. He just looks yeah. around to the right. Yeah, he just starts laughing. He says, I'm never getting on an airship after this. No. no. These uh, feet are staying on the ground when I get back to the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But go to school. Yeah, I think I might. I think I might. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and then he heads off. I can put uh, in a good word for you the Temple of Bry. Uh, he stops and says, uh, I I'd appreciate that, Mr. Grom. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, all right, guys, so just keep it on the down low of my condition uh, until this wild magic surge passes. It hasn't passed yet. Henry, <laughs> I just, maybe it's, it ain't gonna pass. Uh, yeah, I hear some of those wild magic surges are, per are, are, are permitted, and I'm, and I'm wondering... Yeah, buddy. Um, maybe you should start thinking about how you're going to handle it if it is permanent. You need to eat food with lots of protein and iron to build uh -huh. your muscles back up. Henry, Henry, you hear you hear a whisper uh, in, in your ear hole. It says, uh, some frenzies are uh, pranking you like this for so long. Ah, you're a good sport, Henry, putting up with this, but enough's enough, am I right? How are you gonna, how are you gonna go back to your old life when all this is over, if you're just a big sack of bones? Oh, yeah, it's you? Oh, never, uh, okay, everything will be fine, this asshole, don't to listen to him. <laughs> okay. Uh... No, I mean, come on, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Uh, n n none of you, uh, s saw or heard the moody Droxelos, uh, spirit that, uh, was haunting Henry. Mm. Henry said everything out loud. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> you, you talk, he's... Ah, I mean, the Droxelos. Uh, you, you didn't There's hear him? no Droxelos here. You're seeing, uh, you're seeing him too? Uh, I heard you're... him. Oh, man. You saw him? <laughs> Yeah, he's a. Uh, he's, he's, I think he, I'm not sure if we're hallucinating, or or not, but uh, hmm. elms, you know. Yeah, see, that's what I said. Literally, you just heard me say it. Yeah, yeah, elms. <laughs> Probably a little dehydrated. <laughs> you well, can, you can say that. Reaction. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a nap in the in the ship. <laughs> oh, that's true. We don't even have to sleep out here. We can sleep in the ship. Yeah, we don't have to sit oh in the desert. God. We can Thank we Christ. can go into our quarters. <laughs> go to the common room, play some Uno, you know. Ah, yeah. Okay. Work on the ship. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, you guys have some time to rest, to recuperate, and wait for the ship to be repaired. Congrats. Oh, you 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 have, but yet, dot, 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 you have not hit a milestone yet. <gasps> yeah, so. I haven't flown away. I like, can't wait until they fix up the ship, and then it's just like eight hours. We're back. We're back home. <laughs> yeah, like a time skip. You know, like we don't need to spend five <laughs> sessions on the airship again. That'd be. Uh, Kelly, based on the once the calculations and the parameters and you know the plotting devices on that are fixed, it, it will take about four days to fly back to Alcazar. Jesus. In a direct route. In a direct route. You guys are way out in the middle of nowhere. Mm, I see. That's not good. I mean, like Vashon said, they got they've had two weeks to sort out their shit. Like you did your part, you go back, they'll have done their part, everything will be good. Mm. All right. All right. So let's see. We will advance to the dawn on the thirtieth, right? I'll give everyone a medical checkup just in case. Make sure they're not suffering from mutation or disease. That would be a good idea. Henry thinks he's come down with something. <laughs> right. Since they have time to actually give everyone full medical. Uh, yeah, sure. I will say that you know, in the in the pseudo downtime of this, you know, this rest period, uh, you you take stock of everybody. Um, starting with the most important character, Woodchop. Okay. So, Woodchop is still suffering from the outcast curse. Uh, it makes him incredibly unlikable to people that haven't known him a long time. Which also includes you. Um, he's also terrified of the color yellow. And, uh, has to wear special corrective lenses at all times. Other than that, he's doing okay. He does ask if you think... There's any way that he can fix his uh, friendship with Tankira because he really cared about her a lot. He felt like they had a connection, you know, and now she's just so cold to him. I'll, I'll let him he, know he's got the curse on him that's affected him. Oh, he wants to know how much that costs to fix because he's in a bad way financially. No, uh, yeah, I talked to a cleric for that one. I can't remove curses. Well, how much is that going to cost? I don't know. I'm not a priest. Can you lend me some money? Hell no. Can I have some of those lamps? Nope. I don't get any of the lamps? That doesn't seem right. I was helping. Give him some of the lamps. We didn't, we didn't promise half kid. share to him. What kind of hire? No. Yeah, no, he's a B team. He doesn't get any of the loot. That's part of the contract he signed. He helped us out. He's he helped us. Uh, man, uh, if 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 I, I think if he deserves something, Bri would have given it to him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> True, he's right. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> he, he did good things. He made it all the way out of the desert. He two days with us, helped us out. You gotta give him something. That's okay. We'll give him your share then. All right, you the my disposition of my friends is now with them as well. <laughs> I will give him some of my share. I'm not me. Okay. But I will remember this. <laughs> I I think remove curse is pretty expensive and it doesn't work 100% of the time. I respect that. Just going by how my character acts. <laughs> we just told him people don't like him because he's cursed, so he like can feel better about himself. Yeah. Listen, Kelly's more moral conscious, so if he says no, obviously giving him this would be evil. So <laughs> that's the only logical reason. Okay, so you move on to the next person that uh require that would you might be suspicious that needs medical attention. Um. And that would be Vashon. Vashon is also cursed because he cares deeply about Jericho Darling and considers her to be his friend. So he has a higher chance of dying because of that. Yep, I got that same curse. Yep. Okay. 
he also has a very like light S uh, STI that he's convinced he got from Nolby. If you if you have any kind of tonic for that or I mean I can try to do a treat disease thing but he says confidentiality obviously. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, get to it, Doc. Uh, it seems that he is uh, goblin pox. Mm, mm. Goblin pox is not a very high uh, d disease. Let me see. 17 uh, it was your counter. It's a level one level one disease um yes you are able to treat his goblin pox so he gets a bonus to his check when he tries to get rid of it all right he's like I i've been trying to get rid of it for a while I i'm sick all the time uh you, you well, hopefully that helps yeah i mean it looks like a cucumber you know what i'm saying look at it like a cucumber down there it does in fact look like a cucumber <laughs> Ain't that's, that? That's, that's the I mean, all right, it's kind of funny looking. I mean, that's fine. I don't hold that against you, Doc, and I won't hold this against you either. Uh, and he, uh, with one hand, tucks it away. With the other hand, gives you a firm handshake. I'll handshake, then use disinfect it. Okay. Uh, you check on Kosawana, who, um was suffering from delusions exhaustion, of grandeur? exhaustion fatigue dehydration and starvation but now he seems to be in peak physical condition uh, you're fine holy boy get the fuck out uh he says um hold on you have a reputation for one who does not need the gods i want to tell you that there is strength in that. Even though I have been perhaps in contact with the divine. Oh, I really? remain I remain unconvinced. As I hear give motion my face, I know the divine exists. Trust me. I just think they can fuck off. I appreciate that Bry rewarded us for cleansing her holy sight of evil but it has done nothing to repair the damage to my faith there is much i will discuss with the temple when i return to the city there are too many secrets too many misleading and hidden truths how can we stand for knowledge when we hide so much from ourselves? It's a fair point. And, you know, if you need to start your own sect, your own uh, sect of the Church of Bry, I'm still worshiping the same deity. No, I think that my time as a priest is over. I will be a scholar, first and foremost. I will remain in good standing with the church, but I do not see myself returning to those roles anytime soon. And uh, to be fair, to be flat honest, man, I am impressed with how you navigated the wastes out here. You could have a real fortune if you could figure a way to uh, implement that tech onto even just basic guidance of teaching people how to navigate the mana waste. These airships, you've seen what happens. When you mention airships, he looks out of the small medical tent that has been set up, uh, and you, you, you could tell that he's trying to look over and see if he could see uh, that thick-ass captain. And he, uh, he says, uh, I have found myself suddenly very interested in aeronautics. Perhaps I will spend some time studying it further. I'm going to 
grab him by the arm real mm-hmm. hard mm-hmm. and say, break your heart and I break your bones. Mm. He, uh, he flush, his face flushes and he says, uh, I would never, but matters of the heart are, well, it is a knowledge I have little of. I have never made time for others. It has always been Bry, but now I know that it has always been me. You figure it out. I believe you. Thank you. Now get the fuck out so I can take care of somebody who needs it. Okay. Uh, Lucky approaches you and he says, uh, Hey, uh, I'm glad you're back. It's been awful bad. We ate some bad meat that Zenny brought back and, well, them shits, they tore up my, my ass scabs real bad. You fix me up, Doc? Uh, and he just drops his drawers and bends over and grabs his ankles. Fade to black. Oh, God. Man, being a doctor is not, you know, it's not always great. All right. <laughs> he just whistling like uh, he, he's having the best day of his life. He uh, exits the medical tent. Thanks, Doc. That did the trick. I figured that was the appropriate check. Uh, Grom, do you have anything that you need the doctor to check out? Nope, I have been cured fully by Bry. Beautiful. Uh, Jericho, you got anything for the doc? Oh yeah, I, I go I go into his little <laughs> makeshift infirmary. I lay, I lay down on the floor. Alright, it all started when I was born. Not that kind of doc. Oh, alright, never mind, see ya. That kind of stock requires a lot more alcohol. Oh, that's a good point. Alcohol it is. All right, see you, Killy. Later, Jerry. All right, Jet Reed, do you have any uh, complaints or need of the doctor? You may or may not be muted. No? Are you there, Jet? No? Nothing? Okay. Jet is charged 50 gold for missing his doctor's appointment. All right. Make those appointments. Uh, Henry, do you go to check in with, with the doc? Uh, Henry does not want to lose 50 gold, so he checks in with the doc to make okay. sure that he's still a, he's, uh, still still skeleton, huh? They're not going away? No? No, but may I recommend uh, increasing the uh, calcium intake on your diet? Mm, yeah. I, mean, I guess I could do milk. Uh, white Russians is a good alternative. I mean, I think you still get your drink on and get your calcium. Uh, I should probably remain clear-headed from now on. Now, there is a popular beverage in Alcazar for skeletons. It is, uh, Hippo milk. it is, it's, co- yeah, cola and milk. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd rather die. For real. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something pain and eggs would make you drink. They yeah. call it. They call it. They call it pilk. Yeah, I, I think I'd rather die. Uh, <laughs> this is the player, not the character. <laughs> well, you know, it's like <laughs> you you only drink you only drink alcohol when you want to be sad. Like that's the Alcastar way. Like you you drink soda when you want to be a, a good citizen because it, it gives you pep in your step, keeps your mind sharp. Mm-hmm. Especially the colas. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm-hmm. The cocaine colas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, think, I, think we, I think we got. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough, Kelly. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure this one out eventually. I might have to talk to Jericho about things later, depending on how this week goes. All right. Well, if you need any help with anything I can do, let me know, okay? Uh, will do. Uh, same offer. You need something? Let me know. Will do. Okay. Time passes. Anybody else need anything? Uh, I guess, Kelly, you, you check yourself? Yeah. I mean, as far as I know. Yeah. I'm good. All right. 
Did anybody else have any diseases on them? I know other two of us. I think we, I think we cured him um, when we took that long rest in Dracula's house. I think we yeah. walked past you. That's wonderful news. All right, I'll get the, uh, I'll get the airship back up and running for you guys. You can head on home. Mm. Do, do we have to do level up, Renekin? <laughs> no, something, yeah. something is in the way. Something. Dang. We didn't uh, kill the Howland. We have to go to hell. We gotta go back. <laughs> we gotta go back. We gotta go back. You don't go to hell. You go to the dimension of time. Worse. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when we're uh, getting ready to hit the lift off, I do uh, steal alcohol from mm -hmm. the storeroom, and I write a little note that says, "I'm sorry" on it, and I just kind of leave it on Vashon's door. Just oh dang! It. Yeah. I don't tell him who it's from. I just it just says I'm sorry. <laughs> he can't figure it out. Damn. Okay. Crown Good finds to... a note and thinks <laughs> thinks you're killing yourself. <laughs> don't don't do it. What, Graham? I'm already dead. I I can't. <laughs> don't jump off the ship or whatever you're gonna do. You're pretty fun though. For like five yeah. seconds. Or if you're a bouncy goblin. True. Depends on how high the ship is. <laughs> All right. I think the ship is put back together. I'm just double checking, making sure there's no random dead bodies or anything like that. I think we just kind of threw all the dead bodies into the desert. Oh, I mean, the map itself, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Man, that airship is loud. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, that's another reason I'm I'm glad I'm not streaming the Tuesday game because like I could just like have the volume whatever's comfortable for me, not have to keep everything like good for everybody. Oh, thank God for Red. Ugh. That guy's right. pretty cool. Red's got a black dot above his head for being my friend. <laughs> Careful, Red. <laughs> I mean, You're in danger. Uh, it, he, he already survived a Strahd game. He'll be fine. <laughs> true, that's true. Yeah, he did. He did get a lot of a lot of life has tried to kick his ass quite a few times. He's still going. So, all right, I think we're good. All right, let's get our airship music out. A little airship music. <laughs> airship adventures that's us we're going on airship adventure uh you mean just cozy ride home you mean like, <laughs> oh is that what you were, were you hoping for mm -hmm. like, okay mm -hmm. secretly yes <laughs> all right ah oh, we're back in the air gang we're headed home <laughs> Uh, we're just flying by. You see how fast we're going? We're going. <laughs> there it is. There's there's Elfenstar. We're here. <laughs> I can see it. I, I see it too, Jerrica. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Damn, God, it's killing me. Um. All right. So about three hours into the air. Bring him. Where is he? I don't want to be sitting here with my back to that window where the you, things fly through. You hear over the uh, you hear over the uh, the intercom, the repaired intercom. Uh, Farrow Winslow. Um, actually, let me turn off the rain. It wouldn't be raining. Uh, she says, uh, "So far, we've had clear skies and easy sailing, but I spotted something on the horizon. Get into position." Looks like our Manticore friend is back for round two. This is I'm shocked. So cathartic. Where should we go to fight it? At the top, up where the At guns the top. are. Yeah, where the guns are. Yep, everyone up top. All right, everyone up top. Let's go. Let's go up 
up top, upper deck. Let's see if the teleporters work. Whoop, here we go. Uh, oh, they uh, work. Do you want, I, I could just carry you. Okay, that's fine. You're running yeah, up. That's me. immersive. All right. No, no, carry me, carry me. Um, Did we have a night of rest soon? Do you make, yes, you guys would have had a night to do preparations. I know some of you are into that sort of thing. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I saw you hit the uppies button, so I uh, have moved you to the... Thank you. Oh, look mm -hmm. at that lightning over there. Look at it go. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it was a pretty cool scene if you uh, had fought it during the storm. Right. Oh, let, me, let me take a rest. Alright, you see it approaching with its scamps. It's red eyes, black dragon scamps. Um... There we go. There he is. There he is. Come get it, motherfucker. Alright, I'll roll y'all into initiative. Alright, guys, this is gonna be real quick. Two rounds. <laughs> Just crit him. Alright. Oh, as, the, as the chimera flies up, it shouts in three uh, the different voices at the same time over the storm. And it says, uh, Well, well, well. This airship looks familiar to us. Uh, and then the goat says, yeah, familiar. Uh, and then the dragon says, uh, how many times will we have to teach you this lesson? And you see its mouth crackle with lightning. These are our skies and our desert. We're going to destroy you. And this time, Will feast on your flesh and bones. I mean, you can as a free action WWE back if you want. Otherwise, we just roll into it. No, nothing. Okay. Nope. Nope. All right. Nah, I We're not even going to dignify it with a response. Dang, dang. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I feel like that's just heroes that aren't good at banter. Take that route, Stan. Well, you, 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 okay. ne you never make it in the WWE with that kind of attitude. Just saying. Alright. Alright, we got 15 minutes left in session, guys. We got like a hero points <laughs> oh. left. Let's go. Alright. The Manticore has won the initiative. Uh, let's see. It is going to. Obviously, it's going to open with a breath weapon. Uh, you guys can't be in the same space. That's a law. Uh, there we go. Um, okay. Because I am not a manticore, I am going to plot my breath weapon and then move to make my breath weapon work because I'm a baby. Um, can we walk that seems... on this, by the way? You can, but but it would be uh, <laughs> pretty exciting. If you want to walk on that smooth, round metal balloon, yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. All right, so that's gonna hit everybody except Henry. That seems good. All right, and we'll move it there. Yeah, there we go. That's also gonna hit the the freshly repaired. Um, ballista too i like that all right uh here comes the breath weapon go ahead and give me a reflex save dc 25 from all four of you oh it's tough out here <laughs> bananas <laughs> holy <laughs> shit guys <laughs> this is tough <laughs> i'm proud of you grom <laughs> I don't even know if I want to hear it point that. I don't know if it's Damn. working. Damn. Okay. Uh, here comes your damage. Locking the rolls in. Oh, man. I'm going to hero point it. I don't want to die. Oh. Okay. It's electricity. Aren't you, like, fueled by electricity as an inventor? No. Oh. Fire. There you go. Success. Okay. All right. Here comes the damage. Um... It's 8d6 electric. The stuff that you faced, 8d6 electric, ain't shit. Uh, on that note, Kelly, you take 60 points of lightning damage. Um, Grom, you would take half. Jericho would take half. Um, Jet, you would take the full 30. 
Um, it's just basic damage. It doesn't have any cool effects like you're like sick afterwards or paralyzed or off guard or anything. Um, and then I think it has a breath weapon cooldown built in thanks to workbench. And it rolled the minimum amount, guys. It's really exciting. Woohoo! That's exciting. All right. Um, that's its three Pac-Mans. All right. Play passes to long-winded metal scamp. All right. Uh, the scamp looks like it's going to fly down to the engines, but the, uh, inquisitive chimera, uh, chimeric manticore, uh, the lion roars at it and says, uh, no, these die first. Uh, and then it shrugs, uh, and it will fly over and attack you. It's like, yeah, I'm a CR1, sure. Here I go. Whatever you need, boss. Um, so it's going to fly up to here and then it will use its shrapnel breath it has a breath weapon too yeah oh my god uh the shrapnel breath there we go it will hit jericho kelly and grom with its shrapnel breath All right, so we got two successes. I just need one from Kelly. This is a this causes bleed damage, by the way, so it's real bad. It's somehow more dangerous than the Chimera's breath weapon because bleed. Oh, I'm immune to bleed, so that's that's good. Uh, Kelly, here's the uh 19. That's gonna be a critical success. Uh, with a 31. Uh, Alright, and the other two just succeed. So, you would take... Um, this much damage. And I think you take the bleed, even if you make the save. Um, you take, like, half bleed. So, it's pretty nasty. Um, but since you critically succeeded, Kelly, you don't take any. Okay, cool. All right, and then that is only one Pac-Man to do that. Um, so it will use another Pac-Man to... Hmm. It will fly over here and then land on the Ballista. There we go. And then uh, play will pass to Kelly. All right. Uh, I will ready to load a uh, one action to um, treat myself some battle. Um, oh no, he would have had to land. There we go. So. These guys would be in the air though. I don't medicine on myself. Okay. And I will ready to uh, reload, uh, help re reloading the um, ballista. Okay. And there's two actions, right? Uh, yes. All right, and that'll be it. Okay. Uh, which the right hand one that was uh, damaged by the attack? Yep, the one okay. on there. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, and then... Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Two to load. Yep. One to aim uh, up to 35 feet, and then one to launch. Got it. Okay. Uh, play passes to Jet. It only goes 35 feet? No, no, no. Every 35 feet that you need to aim it requires another Pac-Man. That's why they have a whole team that has to work it. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, so... You see, it's it's the Giants. They have, like, a union for, like, mm -hmm. you know, being living war machines. They've always stymied... You remember from Skull and Shackles. They've always stymied the growth of the cannon, the, the war engine 
the war machine industry. It's it's been a whole thing. Okay, so it would be two pack man to aim it at the Manticore because it's fifty five feet away. Right. Right. And mm-hmm. then one pack man to shoot it. Yes. All right. Uh, well, I'll take my free one. Do I need both hands? To shoot the ballista, um, it says it says crew two. It doesn't mention anything about hands. I'm gonna assume at least one hand needs to be free. All right, then I will use the ten paces to at least whip out one. Okay. Uh, I do want this one. And then, um, two pack man aim, one pack man shoot. That is what I'm gonna do. Oh shit! With the okay. Ballista. Uh, let's see. Mm. All right. Um, with the ballista and firing it, um, just go ahead and give me like an attack roll with your um, guns. Okay. Okay. All right, a 30 is going to hit. Uh, the damage is going to be 4d12. 4d12. God damn. All right, so 33 points of damage as the Ballista Bolt strikes the Manticore. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna held action to reload it. Well, it's two, it's two pack mans to reload. So you could put, um, yeah. Uh, when you're using a okay. hero point, right? Uh huh. Is that an action? Well, it depends on what uh the if you're using a card, the card will always have a trigger on there. Okay, let me check out the triggers room. Uh, play during your turn. It's okay. my turn. Um, there you go. I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> Yourself for an ally. All right. So, Fair enough. Uh, one d eight. I think. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, and then oh, play passes to Grom. Nice. Spend an action pulling out an elixir of life, and another action giving it, uh, basically applying it to Kelly next to me there. Oh. Is that? Well, there you go, Kelly, you get that. And I okay. will. Thank uh, you. Examine the, the manticore and do a. Recall, Recall knowledge. knowledge. Nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is your first attempt, so you succeed. Um, let's see. Uh, what can I say? Um, this is some kind of mutation of a manticore and a chimera. Um, so you have to kind of understand the separate creatures to understand the whole Fortunately, we've all played a lot of uh, tabletop at this point, but Chimera, generally an amalgamation of uh, two or more uh, monsters to make one new monster. Um, Frequently, that includes a goat, a lion, and a dragon. Um, Sometimes there is a snake thrown in. Sometimes there is a bird thrown in. Um, In this particular instance, it seems to be... A blue dragon, which is, I guess, outlawed nowadays, but, you know, we do things different out here in the West. Um, what is a manticore? A manticore is a intelligent um, lion-type creature with bat wings that grows barbs uh, in its tail that it will fire at range. Um, the barbs are very sharp and can pin their prey to the ground so that they cannot escape. After they have softened up their prey from a distance, they will land and then savage them to death and try to eat them while they're still alive. They are, if they were nine alignments, still extremely evil creatures. Um, Combine that with the fact that chimeras are generally pretty evil as well uh, by nature. Um, 
This is a pretty nasty beast you're dealing with. You may ask one mechanical question. Um, is it weak to anything? And it it has, has no weaknesses. No weaknesses. All right. I guess that's it for me. All right. Uh, play passes to Henry. Uh, okay. Henry is going to use his action economy uh, okay. to, I guess, load this ballista uh, and then... Aim, aim one time, and then and then he rages because I feel like I want the extra. Well, it's too. All right, for oh, what? Okay. For for starters, I I was too too generous on the first one. It's a load action for two Pac Man, twice uh, to load it. It's oh. actually yeah. Um, so we'll assume though that they were all already loaded, and that's why you guys were able to pull that one off without double double dipping essentially. Um, but this is the action economy of the ballistas. So every 35 feet that you aim is that you have to aim is a Pac-Man, and then it's two, and then there has to be two people adjacent to it to help activate it, because it requires a crew of two people. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you could delay your initiative and see if Jericho wants to be your number two on the uh, the thing. Mm. Henry looks over at Jericho like we do with us. Because then between the two of you, each of you, like, they could step and load, then you could load and aim, and then it's ready to go, kind of thing. Or we could do, we could assume that this one is also preloaded, and then uh, I'll say that you only have to do one load to just make sure that nothing's been jostled or knocked loose or whatever. So. It's up to you, unless you had another plan. Uh, um... not really. I don't okay. have a super great ranged attack. Neither do uh, I. <laughs> All right, so Jericho, play passes to you instead. Uh, uh, I think we should have the gunslinger shoot them. Then <laughs> I, I mean, we could at least get it ready for them. That's yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of okay. the plan. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll get it ready. So what? Uh, so a step one Pac-Man. I have two Pac-Mans mm -hmm. remaining. Can I load and aim it? Uh, you could do one load. One uh, and, and we'll assume that it was already like loaded ish and you're just kind of like checking it. So now we'll say it's loaded and ready to go. Then Henry jumps into initiative and now Henry with three Pac-Man, you could aim it with two Pac-Mans and fire it if you wanted to. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure his range is terrible. So. Yeah. OK, so um, you could just uh, aim it with two and then hopefully someone runs over. Maybe Jack can run over and fire it or Kelly can run over and fire it before the. Uh, well, no, it's gonna go first in the round. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, so this one is this one's loaded and ready to go. This one is not. This one needs two uh, manipulate actions to load. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would, this I would say fire it. Uh, Just go uh, for it. If you want, I can certainly try. Uh, Range attacks. How do those work in this game? Uh... <laughs> All right, I guess I have a dueling pistol I'll just retrieve and just use, I guess. No ammo. Oh, God be damned. This game. I just have a plus 10. All right, I have a plus 10 to hit. So we'll just... I think there's just, like, a uh, advanced weapons. All right, I can roll a d20 and add 10. We, we know All how right. to play this. Yep, just All roll right. dice. Ah, uh, terrible. <laughs> Oof. All right. So the bolt fires, and it flies over the chimera's head, and... In a panicked moment, you think that it's actually going to hit the balloon and puncture it, but it flies right past the front of the airship. Uh, you hear over the PA from the uh, from the ladder access. Are you firing on our own ship? Henry ends his turn. Okay. Uh, all right. That brings us to lanky metal scamp. All right, Lanky Metal Scamp. Oh, have you been there the whole time, Lanky Metal Scamp? Look at this cutie. All right, uh, Lanky Metal Scamp is going to uh, breathe shrapnel. Uh, let's see, they're going to breathe it all over this ballista and the three of you. So Kelly, Grom, and Jet. I'm going to need some basic reflex saves. Grom, like a fucking ninja, you just backflip out of the way of all the shrapnel. Mm. 
All right. Uh, Kelly, you're going to take half. And then Jet, uh, you're going to take half. All right. Here is the damage. Uh, fortunately, just like the last one, it's not enough damage to actually get past the hardness on the ballista. So the ballista does not take any damage from this at all. Uh, all right. So if you did take damage, apply half. There we go. And then the creature has two more Pac-Mans. Um, it is going to... F what can you do? Um, let's see... What's the reflex saving throw on the, on this? Um, I posted in a ch on the ballista. Ballistas. Oh, items don't get saving throws. They just take take damage. They have to re they have to rely on their hardness and their resistances to not take damage from things. Yeah, I don't know, but like on the attack on the launch, it says forty twelve piercing single target DC nineteen reflex. Oh, yeah. I've just been like having it do like like treat it as like a, a ranged attack that way you guys could like you know critically hit it and stuff but i mean i guess uh -huh. i could have done a basic reflex but uh, uh, no i was just curious what it was about this thing's, uh, this thing's reflex is so high that it would make using the ballista like not worth it oh so. no 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 i was, just, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I was just like i saw it i figured it yeah, out. yeah 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 uh, no, i was no, not trying but, to kill but, us but mechan yeah but mechanically it's it's a essentially a basic basic save but um Against this guy, it would be they'd be kind of pointless. So I wanted to make them somewhat useful in the fight. Uh, all right, let's see. Two, two left, huh? Two left. Um, let's see. Yeah, sure. Uh, it will fly over to here. No, it'll yeah, it'll fly down to here. And then Jet, it's going to use its last action and try and claw you. And miss. All right. We'll just play out this Wait, round and I then we'll be it, done for the hero, week. Uh, let's see. Wait. This one is going to... Wait. Uh, I play a hero card. I play a card. Okay. 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 Hang on. Go and grab it. Okay. Dressing. Oh, it's against me. Fuck. Never mind. Yeah. God damn it. Never mind, I would throw my hero card. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, actually, this one... Actually, this one... Um, no, it's used... As long as it's flying, it's sustaining. Okay, I got it, got it, got it. As long as it makes a fly action, it sustains. Okay. Uh, that means this asshole gets to keep flying. Not bad. Alright, and then... Play passes to short-sighted. Short-sighted is going to... Uh, fly up to... Here... And it will use its breath weapon. Uh, there we go. It'll do a 15 foot cone. It's targeting uh, Kelly, Grom, and Jericho. We know that Jericho can bleed because Marrow is the factory for blood. Damn it. <laughs> My hubris. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you too. You can use it. I was like, whatever. We're ending the play around to this. I thought I did the same thing, and I was like, ah, oh, I might critical fail. Just... <laughs> oh, it's max damage, too. Uh, Damn. Damn. Right. Damn. I'd hate Damn. to be taking double damage from that. Oh, man. All right. And then I have to... Uh, apply his breath weapon cooldown in case it lasts long enough that he gets to use his breath weapon again. Alright. Okay. How come it didn't apply the breath weapon cooldown on this guy? Hmm. Weird. Henry's just looking around like, I'm right here, guys. Like, literally. Yeah, I know, like, really. Like, really like, Henry. What the heck? <laughs> Jerks. Okay. And that will be the end of the round. So we will continue into round two. Uh, beginning of round two. Uh, yeah, with a, without needing to make a, a, a seek action, uh, you, can, you can see hidden in the main of the Manticore's... Uh, uh, well, yeah, hidden in the Manticore's main is the glimmer of your milestone. You can see it 
while she's hiding there oh, in the, in we, the we could uh, smell it yeah in that yeah. sexy hairdo it's it's mixed in there look at he's got that 1980s thundercats uh fucking do he went to like the beauty salon he's like give me the lion -o. i want the lion -o. like i'm not leaving until i get the fucking lion -o. and then is the goat and the dragon were very encouraging they're like it looks great man it looks so cool <sighs> wonderful okay so i'll bring you back to your dashboard we'll get that milestone so my advice is have your build like ready to go because that's what we're gonna do for the beginning of next session is you're gonna whoop the shit out of this guy you're gonna get your milestone you're gonna level up you're gonna head back to alcastar and i guess that'll be the end of the campaign because yeah, uh well so yeah well you guys yeah. yeah while you guys were out doing this uh the rest of the agents of alcastar were doing their jobs finishing up the mission and maybe there'll be a parade i don't know oh, we'll see that'd be fun yeah I mean, ignore the fact that you're only on chapter three of four in book two of three, but I mean, you know, like hopefully, hopefully they took care of all the problems. All we of were book gone. three is just a big party, you know, <laughs> like it's big. Every sure, party. sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Um, quick announcements tomorrow night, session two of Strength of Thousands, uh, a very intense uh, combat heavy uh, sort of. I don't want to call it the Dark Souls of Pathfinder Adventures, but we did get attacked by a washcloth uh, last session. So nothing sacred. Anything can happen. Um, if you like magic school games, and if you are interested in uh, fantasy inspired by African mythology, it has both of those things. And those are things that I, I've never had in a game. So I'm very excited. Um, Red Cobalt Gaming is streaming it. Otherwise, the VODs will be up on the YouTube. Uh, join us, hang out and chat. We'll be as interactive as we possibly can. And, um, oh, also, Kingmaker Prep continues. Uh, without any spoilers, Mythic made a decision that I could not believe and basically deleted four months of, uh, of potential content from their campaign. So Good for them. We, Good we might, we might actually finish this thing. So um, I, I don't know. I'm not trying I, to get too excited about it, but as a, as the biggest fan of mythic, uh, I am fine with this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, has, it has been a good game. <laughs> Could you believe that they did the thing that they did, though? Mm. I still can't believe that they did the thing that they did. It yeah. is the thing that they did that wouldn't normally be expected. So. Yeah. Not yeah. at all. I even performed an thing? ancient and sacred ritual to try and prevent the thing from happening, and it didn't work. So I was like, damn, okay. Anyways, um, all other games are normal games. I'm trying to get Dom to do a vodcast on Friday about mini games. I don't think we've done mini games before. Um, I think we've talked about subsystems of Pathfinder, which are secretly mini games, but I want to address mini games because they are plaguing my life right now, and I'm ti I'm just tired of that shit. So I want I want to talk about mini games and how many mini games is too many mini games? When is the game just mini games, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So anyone else have any announcements before we adjourn? No, good. No. Okay. Uh, uh, vampire in like a month. <laughs> so, yeah, someday, <laughs> someday we will play vampire again. I think uh, it's the fourth. Um, um, oh, I guess. Pathfinder oh. beginner box is still beginner box days is still going on. If you gotta learn how to play Pathfinder, get your feet wet. You know, it's a big system. You gotta, you gotta you yeah. know, dip your feet in before you jump on in. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so, Head on over yeah, to start playing that. games. Hashtag not sponsored, and they have a whole. They'll just get you set up. They'll put you in a in a group, and you'll be playing Pathfinder. You'll be a Pathfinder kid before you know it. Mm -hmm. You'll be sitting at a light in traffic, and you'll just say to your wife, "I think I'm a Pathfinder kid now," and your wife will say, "I still love you." Or we're getting a divorce. One of those two. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. I guess bonus announcement. Um. I I got a VTuber made. So if you've ever been like, man, I love co-working with Crash. I love like prepping my game while he's prepping his game. But all these years, I've really wished that Crash had big old bouncy titties to look at while I'm prepping. I got them now. They're mesmerizing. So, They're really yeah, like, like they the block, yeah. I mean, this is a I got more than I ever could have asked for. I'm like a kid at Christmas that definitely didn't deserve the presents he got. 
he knows that and he's worried Santa's gonna come back with Krampus to take the presents and flay his ass but like it's so good it makes me so happy and uh, if you haven't seen it yet um, it might be worth popping into a stream just to see because it's phenomenal it turned out so good and uh, it might awaken something in you hearing uh, you know uh, my voice coming out of a very sexy chamomile might might uh, awaken something. I don't know. It's awakening something because I've had 10 to 30% increase in my stats ever since we started using it. So, beats me. Might be a coincidence. All right. Anyways, um, hope you guys have a good week. And we'll continue yeah. the adventure next time. Thanks for running. All right. <laughs>